Welcome to Mare Taladon, a land where anything is possible. A very large world with an asteroid belt and always visible in the sky of this world. While at night, two moons dot the night sky, with a third making its presence known on special occasions. Nearly a millennia ago, the world was torn asunder by two great wars. From the north, the Demon War, the fiendish war known to demonologists as the Blood War. This had demons and devils spilling over and fighting each other along with trying to destroy the mortal population. In the south was the Scourge Horde War, the culmination of a powerful cloud giant empress that had formed the scattered tribes of orcs, goblins, hobgoblins, giants, and bugbears into a massive force. Only by the combined forces of the ki different kingdoms and a few key adventuring groups from the Adventurers Guild were the armies stopped. Now, centuries later, there's rumblings of a new Scourge Horde. The old castle the Cloud Giant used that was thought to be destroyed has rumored to be sighted. The S's are safe houses, by the way. Ah, thank you. Well, they're... They're, um, places that... You know, quote-unquote, safe houses. Oh, yeah. I mean, the last inn we stayed at was a safe house, as I do air quotes, and yet... Yeah. Things busted through the doors, so... Yeah, things busted through the door, and then we busted through their face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was real. Yeah, yeah we make them safe houses when we're there. That's true. Um, What's yeah. that? You guys are in a tent in the woods for tonight? Yeah, but it's not safe in the woods. It is when we're there. Um, so yeah, so you guys were at this one here. The one right beside the bridge. That's the tavern you guys were at. Um, yeah, because it was the closest to where we dropped off the lumber. Yeah, which was just, just north of you guys in a little n lumber mill, which you guys then spent the next day till about 4 or 5 o'clock um, helping them build rafts, and they would load up, They were building rafts, loading up rafts, and then sending them into the, the river and just letting them float down the river. Apparently that's how they uh, mass transport stuff quickly, is they just use the the water. Just a wee, whoosh. Um, found out that the river is pretty deep. Okay. So you're looking at deep enough that the bottom just starts to disappear because there's no light down there. D'Artagnan is also also looked and seen like there was scratches on the sides. As it was a rather large. large individual that crawled through it. Yeah, as, as if you know, like something big came through and it hit the side, and there's like the, those scratch marks in it. Um, you guys looked at the weapons, the, the tools that they were using, um, Fenrith really enjoyed the, the wood chopper's axe they were using, because it was made out of the metal, um, and between the metal and the wood of the handle, it was a very nice chopping, and it went pretty fast, and there was, like, very little, um, vibrations back into his hand, it was really comfortable. So that, you, so then you guys asked, like, hey, you know, is any way we can get weapons? And you guys are informed that um, whenever weapons are made, they disappear. Nobody in the village takes them. Just as soon as the blacksmith is done, he'll you know he'll finish them and go to bed because he needs to rest. And when he gets back up, they're just gone, just whoosh, 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 gone. And so you guys are like, hey, you know, let's go go over there. Let's see if we can figure out why is they're disappearing weapons and then seeing if he can make you guys some some weapons. So I ended off with, I don't remember if you guys were wanting to wait until the next day to go because it is about four or five o'clock in the evening. Or I if think you guys we agreed to... that we would wait till the next day. That's probably wisest. Um. <laughs> Right. You want to take the one closest to the blacksmith, head to that safe house, and then do some more. Yeah, we should at least like go over and introduce ourselves. Is it starting? Um, is it sun setting, or is it? You guys have until out? about uh, about eleven o'clock or so before places start to lock up. Last call. Um. Yeah. Till that's when people start closing up their stuff and locking stuff up. So you have a few hours, because it's not right at sundown is when it's thing. It's kind of like when it starts to really get dark out is when it, everyone's like, "Yeah, let's not go out there." 
skill. Sunset right now for us is like 30 minutes and then it's dark. So yeah. that was my, you <laughs> Yeah, know, no, you you, like, you, you guys like, you guys still have sunset. some time. Um and then sometime after dark to actually get into a place to be able to bunker down. Or you guys could just try to, you know, go into some trees kind of back to back and survive oh. the night. Oh. Or I can make a shack. Yeah, you have Lehman's tiny hut. No, I have chunks of rock. Oh, make it sense. Minecraft house, first yeah. night. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. If we had to. Except the blocks I make are one and a half blocks wide. Because oh, a block in Minecraft is three feet. Oh Jesus Christ, nerds. <laughs> um. All right, Do there's... we know where the blacksmith is? Yep, so it's right here. Oh, okay. And where are That's... we now? Uh... I'll say probably right where the token is. So should we send the nobles to one of the safe houses and then we go talk to the blacksmith? Yeah, let's let's leave the nobles out of this. All right, you want all five you of them? You mean we shouldn't or... take the people we have to protect? I say we take the dwarf with us, oh, just yeah. because he can actually make stuff out of the useless coin we have right now. That's true. And he might also find this ship more interesting. I, he, I was gonna say he might find the weapons interesting too. So I was just about to call him Thobble. I miss Thobble. I've never heard of a dwarf that didn't want a new hammer. Hey, you guys could have had Thobble. You just didn't want him, so. <laughs> didn't know it was an option. Uh, of course it's an yeah. option. Everything's an option. It's just if the option would work or not. That's all. We couldn't afford him. I don't like it. <laughs> all right. So the nobles will be here. And you guys are taking Harbeck with you? Yeah, we'll take yep. her. Yep. Uh, As you guys come He's over capable. here. He is. Yep. Uh, are you sure about that, Lassie? Yes. Now that's using your dipstick, Jimmy. Alright. So you guys are going over to the, the blacksmith area? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Mm -hmm. I love the house. I love how the houses and stuff look so close together. But when you put us on a map, there is nothing near it. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not because you know scaling is an issue when you take it from two different areas. Oh no, I know. <laughs> just like technically speaking, yeah, there's technically speaking supposed to be uh, like trees like right here, of course, and then like right down here. But you know, it scaling is hard. Okay, so shut up. Uh, so you don't have this one, this one, this one, or this one with you guys, but the rest of you guys are here. Boop. Bam. There you guys go. I like to think we have a ring of tensors floating disc, and whenever a party member is missing, they're just in the thinker pose on the disc following us around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking. All right. As you guys get up, you guys see this uh, stone building with uh, billowing smoke coming out of from over here. Um, and as you guys get closer and closer, you guys can hear the like the ting, 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 like the rhythmic um, banging of probably the blacksmith working. Did we get his name, or just he's a blacksmith? Just. Just he's a blacksmith. Just he's a blacksmith. Wait, I'll start work walking towards the tinging sound. Okay. All right. And is like so, are these half walls? Are they walls? Is this uh, like these I'm are open? so these are full walls. So this is like almost like a small stone hut essentially. Okay. Um, but when you come over here, it is there's like the walls here, but it is open area. So there's like nice breeze coming through and everything like that. A slight, slight like roof over here just to prevent if you know if it's raining out that he doesn't get right. wet as he's um, doing it. But you see a pile of, it's not full, full size logs. 
Um, it's it's kind of like saplings or larger branches and stuff like that. Essentially, pieces that he could use for handles for different tools and everything. Uh, okay. Do I see him? I'm going to yep. call it, sir. You hear like the ting, ting, ting. ting. It takes you a couple times before he looks over. He's like, oh, uh, welcome. What can I do for you? We heard that you make some beautiful <laughs> weapons, but may have a problem with keeping them. Uh, yeah. That is definitely an issue that I've come across. The tools are perfectly fine, but it seems whenever I make a weapon, well, it seems nature does not want it around. What do you mean, nature? As in, I go to bed, I come back, and it's gone. So, are they kept indoors, or do you keep them out here in the open? He uh, he points with his hammer to over over in, over in here. Are there, like, doors here? Doorways. Doorway. Oh, okay, so it's, like, open. I'm trying to find, like, a place for, like, so this, uh, that open. does not work. I think open concept. Um, in so, like, here is open Every concept. instance. Yes. So what where this br happen? breaks in the wall, yeah, it's the ways. Okay. Any damage to your property, or was it just the stolen weapons? Nope, just the weapons are gone. We are actually pretty interested in your weapons, but um, would you be interested in us trying to find out what is happening to your weapons? If you want, if not, that's fine. I've come to accept the fact that the weapons just disappear, and it seems that if I try to stop making the weapons, uh, then there's some damage to the area. So you make Wait. weapons because they're being taken? Uh, at this point, uh, pretty them. much, yes. Oh, that's extremely interesting. I am... Um... I want to weapon now. That is, yeah, that is. So, <laughs> so, these weapons are something you're offering, you'd say? At this point, yeah, I don't even think I could call them weapons. I think, yeah, you're right, they're about offerings. Interesting. And what sort of um, deities are... Do you have deities here? Uh, yep, it's a day-night cycle, uh, you know, the sun rises, goes up, brightens the area, gets dark, everyone goes inside. Do you have any gods around in the area that you worship? Uh... You use... Oh my gosh, there is. <laughs> what? Did you... Wait, did you just realize what I... That's literally what she did. <laughs> you fart. What? If they don't know what the word means, and it's a, something close, right? <laughs> then. Yeah, once again, remember, we don't speak the same common. <laughs> like. There's a similar to ours, but not quite. Exactly. The same. Yeah. They're old English. <laughs> We're not. Actually. I would like to argue that deity is a very old word. Yeah, but if they don't know what gods are, then. Yeah. I don't believe well, in magic. Considering... Fine, I'll rephrase. Do you have gods here? Uh, I got that. He points to the pile of stuff I know, and he like points to different stuff. Nothing called a god here, no. I'm gonna look at Mithria and just he shake my head. What? He's he's pointing to his his goods. There are no gods. I've got uh, you know. Some... Fuel for the fire. I got the darkened steel here. And he points to the stuff here. The metal. I'm going to put my hand on Mithrius' shoulder and be like, no, there are, they don't worship anything here. Is that why your magic doesn't work? Yes. The it gods does work. have left this planet. It you are all It does alone. work. Just very temperamental. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the blacksmith and be like, if I wanted you to forge me a dagger... What would you like for trade? He kind of like, kind of brushes a beard a bit. Ah, uh, I don't know. What does he look uh, like? Just like he's like he's the, like the stereotypical blacksmith, like a big burly dude with a a leather apron on, with a, like his beard come down, and you can tell that it's singed some, and it's kept at a certain length just from singeing. Like it gets to a certain length, and then it will go into the fire, and it will kind of like singe back up. Type. It's right. like natural hair cutting. Um, 
and he he's just working on it looks like some kind of um tool on one of the anvils here uh for but trade I'd... yeah yeah okay like mm -hmm. oh i don't i honestly don't know uh it's usually i make the make the tools needed and people usually just you know will trade in some food like the farmers will trade in food um i'll make axes for the lumbermen well i can trade in food if that's something you're interested in ah food's always a good thing we could um, also figure out what's taking the weapons that is true but i can also make him food too i mean I do want to find out what's taking the weapons now. My interests have been piqued. Yeah, he puts the metal back in the f uh, furnace to start heating up again. Kind of looks around as if he's like looking for someone and kind of does like the uh, sigh that when he doesn't see someone around. So your apprentice? Yeah, he's uh, supposed to be checking the checking the nets and um, he's not there. D'Artagnan's going to start walking over there to see if he can find him. Be careful! <laughs> Don't fall in! If you do... You sink like a stone. Well. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> I couldn't help it! I couldn't help it! That's racist! <laughs> uh, make a perception check when you go over. I'll, I'll... Nah, you went, robot. Go yep. with him, make sure he doesn't fall in. No more I'm not gonna fall in. He's not a dipshit most yeah. of the time. <laughs> Okay, perception. Not bad, that's an 18. Okay. Um, as you go over, you see uh, a wharf going out a little bit. And you can see there looks to be some kind of nettings and some cages in the water along the side here. Okay, do I see footprints? Yeah, but it's more of just, you know, like footprints all around of normally walking. There, There's none around. Like, no, no one around. Park. Nope. I'm gonna walk over and see if I can see anything in the water. You look in and you see some, like, sparklings in the nets, but, um, other than that, no. Hmm. Without turning my back to the water, I will walk back over. <laughs> um, as you're, as you two are over there, the blacksmith continues. If you guys want a dagger, it will take about five hours or so. I won't be able to get to it tonight because it is starting to get laid out. Uh, yeah. Would you mind if tomorrow, um, if we camped out around here tomorrow night, I want to see if something happens to the dagger. Sure. Oh, I'm Amaya, by the way, and I hold my hand out to him. He kind of comes over with his large hand, like, grabs it, and you immediately have, like, soot and stuff on your hand. He's like, I'm Burren. Burren. Hello, I'm Anne. He nods, like, Burren? Yeah, I know a few of my friends with me were very interested in your weapons. We've never seen anything quite like them. Honestly, I just make simple weapons here. I don't make anything fancy. They're yes, could you make things. something like this? And I pull out my short sword. He looks closer and he's like, oh, I've made, I make those all the time. More like, how about this? And mine. Is it great sword put over? What, the fancy great sword? No, I have a great axe and a great sword. The great sword's just normal. Oh, he, he looks over and he's like, bigger than I'm used to doing. Uh... I have made a couple of them, but mostly that's the smiths in um in some of the other villages that require it for the to be able to reach the larger creatures. Yeah, I'm just interested in a shiny dagger. Ah, daggers are easy. Yeah. Uh if you want a weapon like that and he points to your grey sword, um Stan Corner might have one or High Point, but uh not Another really town. done here. Yes. Don't really okay. do it here. I guess. Could you no. make a sword that's sort of like a short sword, but it curves a little bit so it's better for slashing? Uh, yeah, I've made a few of those. Usually that's for the tree climbers. Tree All right. climbers? Aye. 
Uh, people that go up into the trees to get out any of the pests up in the trees. Oh, this is going to be fun. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to order one of those. He kind of like chuckles. Like, all right, uh, let's let's go in. I, I really thought I had a, a, a token for him, and I do not have a token for him. I'm a little sad right now. Um, Wire, if actually, hand axe. Huh. Could he make a hand axe? Oh, those. I, I have tons of those. What about uh, bolts for a crossbow? I have those. And he, like, walks into. Uh, let's see. What's, what we're going to do? What we're going to use for his. Uh... uh, he comes in here and he starts looking around. Oh, he's the wave of a person. Yeah. Yeah, so he comes in here, and you guys... Are you guys going to follow him in? Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, inside, you see his essentially finishing area here. You see bins of different gems lining the wall here, all sorted out. Uh, it looks like these tables are where he finishes, you know, putting on, like, the handles for his axes and stuff like that. You can see, uh, apparently, that the map didn't want to keep them in high definition right here. But right here are um there's pickaxes axes um different kinds there is um it looks like there's some crossbow corals over here and they're they're designed though for the light ones uh yeah so that looks like crossbow corals are over here for um, light and heavy crossbows. Doesn't look like there's any um, hand crossbows. And uh, these bins here, you're looking at oh, about four feet high, and they're full. Wow. Are they, um, do the gems look familiar? Would they look uh, like anything we'd seen back home? Similar, yeah. Or I would see? Similar. There's some that look like uh, emeralds. Some look like sapphires, almost. Some, like the closest, you know, equate, you know, some rubies. Lily looks like some gold ingots, not ingots, nuggets. So, Arez, while I was over close to the nets, would I yeah. see that that's what has been, like, being collected in the nets? Uh, good, good guess they would be, yeah. Okay. I'd say why don't we let uh, Burn go for the night and in the morning we come back. Agreed. Okay. All right. We will see you tomorrow, sir. Yes, thank you for your time. All right. Well, see you tomorrow. I am going to finish up what I was doing there and uh, get indoors. Yeah, let's go to the safe house. <laughs> yeah. Run away! Run Stay away. safe tonight. Right. Brave, we, brave Sir Robin. We speed walk away. <laughs> and we're walking and walking. Quickly. We are walking quickly. Aha. It's as if nothing happened. Dun, 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 dun. What? Nothing happened? What are you talking about? I oh. mean, next to nothing happened. No, on the on this map. Showed up and then. <laughs> yeah. Bloop. You guys are back in the back in there. Are the doors fixed? Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Once we're back inside, Meteor starts pulling um some paper out of her her sketchbook, and she starts making like. She starts writing down information, and she starts like placing it out on a table. Kind of like the board with the red string, but minus the red string and board. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, you're going full conspiracy theory. Nice. Well, of That's... course, this place is weird. There's a castle no one can go to, or no one can return from. There's creatures that roam at night, and weapons being stolen by some malevolent, possibly evil thing. This is weird. Something is going on. Yeah, or some kind of creepy creatures are coming out of the ocean and stealing his weapons because he's right near the water. Not ocean, river. Just around exactly. the river bend. We're going to find out tomorrow what's stealing his weapons. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna like look in my my waist. And I'm gonna grab my bird cage and I'm gonna like tap it and be like, Miskin, come out. Uh, lost. There's no bird in there. Just want to point that out. Does it's not a bird. There's a goblin in there sometimes. The nobles look at you like, the fuck? Here. It's fine. Don't worry. There. There's nothing to worry he's, about. Don't worry. He's most he's rather funny individual. He was a wizard. Something happened to him. Where's my miskin? Did he pop out? Nope. Oh. What was that? I that don't was a cute little it. sticker. I saw a cute little Wait, sticker I on the screen. What magical <gasps> items worked in this place? Yeah. What is this? Where is? Where's? 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 Dwarf guy. What's his name? God damn it! I lost. I forgot his name. You just said it. Harbeck. Yeah. Thank you. I want to say Harbeck so... and be like, you said magical items were working here. Uh, Some magic I... items work. We don't know if every single magical item will work here. I don't like this. Make a persuasion check. A persuasion? That's just a roll of d20, right? And essentially charisma, yeah. Okay. Well, I thought you were going to have me roll a percentile. No, no, persuasion. 17 plus... Charisma? Yeah. Persuasion. Oh, it's a plus two, so... 19. As you're talking to Harbeck, talking to that, you guys uh, see him apparate on the table. Like, oh, finally! Now you deign for me to come out! I give him a big hug. Oh, God! And you, he, there's the confetti as he pops. No! And then he kind of like reforms like, <laughs> holy hell. I've missed you. Hello. Do you Welcome want a drink? Here. Hello. We're in, we're in hell. Do you want a drink? Uh, sure. Okay. And you can see the nobles looking at you guys, looking at him. The only one that's not nearly as confused is, um, the Magister mage. Delaba. Yeah. Yeah. She's this not confused, more of intrigued. Okay. This is just so, how we roll. Don't make it a big thing. I'll, I'm gonna like raise my hand towards the barkeep and ask for an ale, um, the the tavern. Over. All right. And then right. um, I'll explain who my little mission is. Okay. So there you go. He has. He was not a goblin all days. And he. We found a cave with some hose ramps. We well, we found the bird cage. Yeah. In a cave with some hill giants. And have and you investigated in where he came from? Magister Delabo asks. I haven't had chance to yet. <laughs> We've only been together for like not that long. And I was training for six months of it. About nine months or so. Nine months. <laughs> I well, six, six of those nine months I was yeah. training. <laughs> so Another I'm Another month <laughs> that you're on the road. Right. <laughs> And we also lost a party member who got stolen. So there hasn't been a whole hell of a lot of time. I do. I, I know I'm going to. I have it written down, actually, that I'm going to figure out what happened to him. Personal but, quest. Kind of. At some point before she goes to bed, D'Artagnan pulls Master Galaba beside the Magister, whatever she is. Yeah. Um, what spells do you have prepared in your spellbook right now? Well, that's a rather personal question, don't you think? Well, I'm trying to learn. And she kind of like pulls her uh, robes a little tighter as if you just like, and eh, what color is your bra, huh? <laughs> as of right now, my cap I'm not very capable with magic, but since being here, I can actually use it. I've been trying to pick up new tricks. Oh, yes. You're one of those, are you? Well, um... Fine. Let's see. And she, like, pulls out this... It looks very thin. It looks, um... Almost like the thickness of a drawing book. 
and she kind of like starts looking through and you see all these different incantations and like theories and stuff like that she starts penning through her uh her spell book that she has. She's like, um, what's uh, some of the spells you wished um, to look into? Let me look Do I hear the this conversation? Room. Yeah, they're at the table. I look up and I'm very interested in what spells she's offering. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least by me, Dana right first, now. you two. Whew. Do you have the ice knife spell? Um, ice knife. Let's see. No, not in this book. Do you have any way of finding people? Um, now? Uh. Well, something like a like a scry. Right. Well, I'm kind of you know limited on what I Me have. Too. But... From what I've read on scrying. I don't think it would work even if we had it right now. She kind of like flips through her book. She's like, oh, yes, I actually do have Scry. But your compatriot is correct. It has to be on the same um, plane of existence. Well, so I you do know where we I are. I don't know. This might be the plane of existence for all we know. Yeah, but doesn't don't you need to be like acquainted with the person that you're scrying on? Yes, and unfortunately, uh, I do not I'm know very who acquainted with the person I need to scry I, on. I I do not know well, your you fiance, cannot. unfortunately. Yeah, you you can't do that. She needs to know the person. But you you could teach me to scry, couldn't you? Um, don't take this the wrong way, but you are not nearly powerful enough. Your brain would simply probably melt if you try to do it. Yeah, Ooh. stronger. Is he is only is. slightly offended at that. Well, she essentially just told level. you that, yeah, you're not high enough level. Yeah. <clears throat> Perhaps should I prove myself capable, you would be willing road. to teach me then? If you prove yourself capable and actually get us out of here, of course. Very well. I'm drinking with my goblin. It's like one of the yeah. So anyway, so Daddy Rowan, right? He like totally took yeah. me to these 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 clubs where yeah, the ladies like Rowan, Daddy. Yeah, you had to tell me what happened that, like, while I was gone you know, for six months. Because if you threw a silver at them, they would take a piece of clothing off, and I'm like, but I'm not allowed here. My mommy Amaya says no, and he's like, oh, don't worry, I got this, it was okay. And then we like kept doing it. Yeah, it was fun. I'm gonna look at the boys. Who fucking look at me? Fenrith, <laughs> and I'm looking at Fenrith and Rowan. And I'm Not even like, close to being correct because he was trying for those six oh, months to I convince know. them to do it, I, and they're like, no. I have no <laughs> doubt. Like in the back of her head, she knows it, but she's still gonna give them the death glare because, once again, imprinting child must protect. <laughs> you took him to brothels, and then I just smirk because I know it was his idea. Uh. And I'll pat him on the head. Not as easily fooled as you think, idiot. But it's good to have you, and I have him on my lap. And I'm after, just after a bit, a drunk person will be like, Well, oh, that's an ugly child you got there. Uh, you might want to leave it outside. And kind of like stumbles away. Wow! I deck that's him. <laughs> I deck no. him, and I deck no. him hard. Alright, roll attack. It's just an unarmed attack, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, strength and proficiency. Oh, strength and proficiency. <laughs> strength is a plus three. And proficiency so, would be a plus two. So that's a plus five. So 13 plus five is 18. Okay. Jesus. And then you said you have a plus three strength, so you do four points of damage to him. <laughs> as you just wham! I... And it's almost like slow motion as he's like flying through the air, lands on the ground, and doesn't get up. You killed a man. Good job. <laughs> oh, I'll go. No. Is he? Is he like? Can I get he's knocked out. He, he was drunk enough that that blow and him hitting the ground, well, it fucked him up. Also, just knocked his ass out. He might have right. some brain damage in the morning, but for right now, yeah, he's just not I dope. can always heal that later. <laughs> you know, make fun of my kids. 
And I yes. sit back down with Thobble. Or not with Thobble. God damn it, why is Thobble wow. in my brain right now? Miskin! Dear God, help me. Damn. Why I told you. Thobble? I do. Hey, Rez. Even yes. though I don't have anybody to teach it to me, <laughs> did I get Chaos Bolt with my level up? Not until you learn it. Well, that's the thing. Who do I learn it from? It is a sorcerer exclusive. It's not going to be fucking written down. Yeah, but something could happen that you then it's like shabam. All right, cool. That's uh, what I'm going for. This level up. You guys are kind of looked at as Amaya does that, and everyone's like, "Hey!" They like raise your raise cheers to you type, and then they go back to drinking. I bow slightly <laughs> and sit down. Right. Go back to my ale. I thought you were trying to make some compatriots around these parts here. You don't make fun of my family. If if a Azamar had a goblin, I think there's really something wrong there. Actually, it's that's not a literal child, obviously. That's interesting. Azamar blood and the size of a goblin. Hmm. And you can see him start to like ponder. This is, and I'm, I'm like pointing to like our group, and I'm like, this is my found family. You don't fuck with them because I fuck with you. And then the rest of us as well. They don't have a real problem. That's why, like I point to everyone in like my, you know, like our group. Say that, and I point to um, Miskin too. All right. And then I sit back down and I drink. I'm a menace to society. As D'Artagnan just like slams down a shot you're, or something. You're yes, the drug you addicted cousin that everyone's like, exactly. he needs to be he needs to be in rehab and your parents and are like, No, no, he's fine, he's an angel and they're like, He needs rehab I'm like, No, no, it's fine. <laughs> that is exactly D'Artagnan. Mithria, after she's done with her whole like conspiracy papers, she's just doodling. A picture okay. of uh, a man in her, the face of a man in her sketchbook. All right. And then before going to sleep, I'm going to ask Miskin, do you want to go back in the cage? Probably now I'll sleep with you. Stay for there. Oh, now yeah. I'll sleep with you. Awesome. Cool. Let's go to sleep. All right. I'll take last watch, I yell, as I like curl up on the bench. <laughs> I got okay. first. Do you guys want to do anything else until then, or are we going to be getting straight in to see if you guys have an encounter tonight? I'll, I mean, I'll do first watch as well. All right. Okay, yeah, he's just kind of like figuring out if he can like change the color of the flame he produces. Okay. Just blue. No. Blue. No. Blue. <laughs> ah, that's close. One time you go to do that, you're like, blue, and it just turns pink on you. <laughs> Definitely not Dilaba trolling you or anything. Of course not. You know what? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she can fuck with me all she wants. It's... Eventually, she's going to get left behind and eaten by a weird Satan <laughs> Jr. thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, what could possibly be wrong with you guys losing one of these five nobles? No, we are not losing any of these nobles. <laughs> All right. So with with that then, so then the nobles will um one, two, three, four. I need I need somebody to roll a uh D eight for me, please. Gotcha. I got it. That's fine. Both both of you guys do it, because I technically need two anyway, so Quattro. Alright. So then, that four. Is... You both got fours. Nope. Roll again. Quattro, Quattro. Aw. But four is not a fun number. Six. No, it's seeing it's, it's seeing where the nobles are gonna go resting. Um. So four and a six. Uh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. So then the two groups of nobles have gone off. Dela was like, ah, like the old days on the road. All right, so where are you guys sleeping? Uh, I vote center close to the door. Yeah, I'm yep. going to probably be on this side this time. 
Uh, I'll be right here, and I'm gonna, um, do more doodles as I'm keeping watch. D'Artagnan's okay. right there. Alright, so D'Artagnan, make a perception check. Mithria, make a perception check with disadvantage. Ooh. And one yeah. of you guys roll a d12. 25, and I got the 12. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> 15 total. All right. And what was the D12? Six. Uh, six. Uh, I really hope this this comes through the mic. Um, as you're as you're doodling, you haven't this entire time you've been here, Mithra. Your ring hasn't warmed up like it usually does, or anything like that. Um, there seems to I, been... I assumed as much, uh, hence my sad doodling. It, it seems to be, yeah, like you are really far out of the service range and not even his, he's not even like paying for long distance or anything like that type thing. Like, even if you want to do that, you're out of the service range. Um, so you're doodling, you're doodling. D'Artagnan, you're kind of like looking around, going around, people are snoring, everything like that. And you can hear this. Like, and it just echoes out and kind of like. Hey, we through. got the first part of that. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got and, a little Discord. It, awesome. Yep. So it's like this, like um, like a, a loose... like this kind of. It's like this, um, m almost like that mixed with like a, a whale call, like mixed together and like extends out, um. And you can hear the very faint sounds of um, crying out, like "Oh my god!" Ah! Ah! No. High pitched squealing, people okay. running around, like you know, you know, in, in movies when there's an explosion, people running around going, "Oh my goodness!" Ah! That, it, but it's very faint. As in, it's probably like far away. Artanian pulls out his short sword just to be ready. Just in case, and he like sets it on the table in front of him. All right. I think once I've got like a full, like detailed sketch of Romero's face in my sketchbook, I'll stop and quietly get up and stretch. Um, I'll pull out my crossbow and come over and and just kind of sit. Okay. D'Artagnan's going to go towards the door, leaving the short... No, he'll take the short sword with him. Just to listen towards the door and be like, do I hear him close mm -hmm. this time? It still seems to faint. It's almost like... Okay. Oh, where's the, where's the damn thing? Like, you guys are here? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's probably... Somewhere like over here. Okay. Okay. Um. But other than that, your your watch goes by. Uh, Mister, make a make a performance check for me, please. Get. <laughs> um. That is a total of twenty seven. Jesus Christ! D'Artagnan, you look over at, um, like when you glance at what Mithri is doing, you see this almost like hyper realistic picture of a dude. Can I describe it? If you want to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you see the picture. It's sort of a, um, like three quarters angle, uh, of a very a uh, handsome man, um, dark skin, um, hair is, is a, a little bit messy, he's got this kind of shy but a little bit goofy smile, uh, and his eyes are just very, uh, like, deep, dark, and, and a little bit, so I, Mithra has added a little extra shine in there, and, and he's got... Um, it's it's a human human man. D'Artagnan's gonna lean over. 
Your fiance looks like a nerd. He is. <laughs> he is very shy and he's. Oh, wow. He did a great deal of studying and just very nerdy, but one of the sweetest people I've ever known. D'Artagnan gives you a side hug. And then I'm going to walk over to Fenrir and, like, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Venrith, are you there? Venrith apparently is sleeping through his uh, watch. He's like, ah, five more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <he's there>. yeah. <laughs> well, if two shakes didn't work, D'Artagnan is going to look at him very intently. And you see the side of his head flare with light, and then just in Fenris' head, wake up, motherfucker! <laughs> so mean. Oh man! Just... In response, you get the equivalent of my roar directly in your head. Jesus, you too. <laughs> Psionic fight, round one. Yeah. Fart. Like people like yelling each other's face back and forth. Yeah. Yep. Except silently, like, which is great. Yeah. To, to everyone else, you guys are just looking at each other. To you guys, it's oh, like a war raging on. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're just like looking at each other, and then everybody's like, why are they staring? And we're just hurling the most heinous fucking insults we can come <laughs> up with at each other. <laughs> I got to go get some more water. I'll be right back. All right. Hanrath, who wake up, make your checks. Yep. Ooh, very nice. That's a nat 20 for a 23. Okay. Fuck yeah. Oh, I can't roll there. A little bit of a waste on a perception check for a watch, but, you know. Hey. I know. I know. <laughs> and, Uno. What? All right. I mean, Arez, it could have been worse. He could have rolled a natural one for perception. True, yeah. And you guys wouldn't have noticed. You guys wake up in the morning, the, everyone's being attacked, everything like that, and Fenner's like, Nothing's going on, guys! It's perfectly clear here! We're all right! <laughs> <laughs> We're a okay. The building's on fire. There's some guy's like, head hanging off of his neck. It's uh, it's that uh, everything is fine meme. It's, yeah, it's it's Fe it's Fenrith instead. <laughs> Roy, everything's okay. Nothing to see here. We're perfectly okay. Um, Fenrith, as your as your as your watch goes on, um. You hear a familiar voice in your head. Huh? Hello? Um, and as you're kind of like just watching, making sure... I'm assuming, D'Artagnan, you told him about the sounds from your watch? Yeah, yeah. I did. So as you're kind of like listening for that to see if they're still going and stuff like that, you hear a familiar female voice in your head. And it's... I w I'm not actually going to do it for the sheer fact that I don't feel like fussing with my mic, but um, as she talks through, it's like the um, old old cable channel where you don't have a full signal and it kind of you know like flickers in and out. The audio is like it's like a Skype call with bad internet. Yeah, it's like the Verizon commercial. Hello, can you hear me now? How about 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 now? Yesterday. Yeah, pretty much. Um, you hear, Fenrith? Um, Fenrith, can you hear me? Are you there, Fenrith? Um, it is... Uh, it is... Bloody hell. It is the, uh, the... The elf cleric. What? From the displacers. Oh, oh. Um, you have like twenty-five words. Make them count, bitch. 
No. Um, I, can hear, I can just hear you. Yeah, I don't know where you are, but Frank wanted me to let you know that apparently we found something you've been looking for. Um, if you want to get here, uh, we could figure out a place to meet. And this is like, you know, like every couple words cutting in and out. Very bad. Very so, bad reception. Yeah. Um, I expressed a slight issue with that. <laughs> we are stranded, and I described the sky I saw and how it's different. Okay, I so, don't understand what you're saying. You're cutting in and out a little bit. As are you. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just, you just want to, you just, just, oh, god damn it. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to express that she's having a hard time understanding and that we don't know where we are and we don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> We're not in Kansas anymore. You sure? Where the fuck is we Kansas? Could be. We could be in Kansas for all we know. We're not in Superman anymore. We don't know where. We're not even sure we're on the continent. Or the plane. Uh, she's like, I can't... Something about plane travel... You should not be traveling different planes. It's not... <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, it just ca cuts out. Like, the spell is ended. But, no shit. Well then. Um, so when the wait, when the swap comes at when time come, when time comes to change watch, I'll explain what happened. Okay. Before I go to bed. Do you mind? Yeah. All right. An eventual other than that. Yep. What number did you roll? Just so I know. One. He rolled a one. Uh, eh. One to the loneliest number. Okay. The loneliest number is the number five. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Your right. character got in trouble and he wasn't even here. He was on oh, Tinker's yeah. floating dish. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I I don't remember if I told you guys about this, but I have. It's just a joke thing. But it's everyone has a free spell cantrip called summon popcorn. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember gone. if I I don't know if I told you guys this or not. It, it, it's literally no. a joke thing. It does nothing other than the fact whenever it's like if something interesting is happening, but you're like I'm not taking part. It's like okay, so you just summon popcorn. It's like yeah, I just summon popcorn. Oh, that would have been great <laughs> when they were getting our asses arrested and I was sitting in the middle of the street. <laughs> I would have summoned popcorn. popcorn between the two <laughs> new new free spell summon <laughs> finger disc. Mm -hmm. What 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 <laughs> King said just takes the, the pose of the AFK finger. Uh, was that? The AFK everyone's AFK spell the finger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, Amaya, what is your checks? Uh, let's see. So it's it's perception. Per perception wow. and a D twelve. Yes. Uh, by the way, Ripley, if you're talking, we don't hear you. Perception, so it's 18 plus... Okay. Perception plus 2, so 20. And a d12. Alright. Hold on, let me see. Where are my 12s? I just step away, I'll be right back. Brought oh. you. Two! Two, alright. Your, uh, your watch goes by relatively eventful. Good job, death dice. <laughs> I have special dice that are Clark dice that are skulls inside. They're clear with skull heads. As you're taking a watch, and what seems to be morning starts to approach, you hear, Your friend there, your uh, Ganassi friend, he's a thief, right? If I heard it correctly. As you see Harbrek start to like wake up, kind of like stretch a little bit. He is up. something. I don't know many thieves that are very good with only one hand. Nah, he wasn't very good with two hands, so look where I got him. Alright, valid point in that. And we haven't known him very long. And he did his time, and admitted to what he did, and he's paying for it. So, he's trying to change. 
but he's I mean he'll no. I, I think he'll get there I have a question for you actually yes last what would you like um so you met Miskin I'm betting he's still asleep like on my lap or something yeah or my watch um so he wasn't always a goblin do you know how someone can get changed from a person to a goblin? He doesn't remember uh, much. Didn't even remember his name. There's a few things. Um, generally, us holy people don't do it. Uh, best Holy people? Isn't she a wizard? I said Harbeck. Not Harbeck. Oh, the dwarf. God. The dwarf. Sorry. Yeah. God. Um, your best bet would be to ask the lava there. Generally speaking, the arcane persuasion are the ones that change stuff like that. Yeah, he's also, for some reason, bound by this bird cage, and I'll, like, show him to him. I have it Could on. I'm also me, pissed so. off a really powerful being, too. Yeah, I think so. Could be anything from a god, a high power demon or devil, um, an extra plane or being, a dragon, perhaps. Uh, a dragon? Hey, some of them get very ancient, very powerful. I'm sure your friend. He like motions over to Fenrir. He's like, I'm sure, your friend there can confirm that. Uh, oh, I guess I was just thinking of like the smaller versions. No, I would no, think that no. they'd be more like, let me eat you because you pissed me off instead Yosh. of turning a human or whatever he was into a goblin. It, it all depends, really, right? They some of them might. Um, I do know that there is the um. What one is it? It's the frost one. The white one. Those ones generally will, yes, just eat you. But some of the more mischievous ones, like the greens and the reds and such, they might take pleasure in the fact that you're not immediately dead, but now suffering. Uh, there could have been a spell go awry. Uh, there could have been a genie. Uh, there's lots of things, honestly. Like I said, Delaba would probably be the better person to ask yeah. those questions to. I'm like, just like, as we're talking, I'm just kind of like slowly petting. <laughs> just like, just like a, uh, just a cat like on a your lap. Or a cat. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's just like a cat on my lap. I'm just kind of petting his head. Alright. Oh, what did you think of those weapons that we saw? Very interesting. I don't recognize the mineral at all. Um, the fact that he just has a whole bunch of those gemstones out in a boat is interesting. Uh, that's a horror that a lot of people would would crave. Yeah, Yet but he it... seems to just be willy nilly them. And also the fact that when he stops making weapons, that's when his shop gets wrecked. I yeah, it's as if something knows when he finishes it and then goes. Now the question is, does he have to do it at a certain time? Is it like certain times of the month that he has to do it? Or is it whenever he strikes the fancy, creates a weapon and then all of a sudden it's gone? Well, he said that he was making weapons and he'd go to bed at night when he came back, they were gone, but then he stopped making and things were getting destroyed. So, like, I wonder, does he have to make a new weapon every day, every other day? Like, I don't know how long it takes to make weapons. I'm like, I'm... It all depends, honestly. Uh, skilled Smith, you're looking at oh, a weapon like yours probably taking about two, three days. Yeah, well, when I asked him about a dagger, he said about five hours. Okay, that sounds about right. All depends, like I said, on how skilled he is. Uh, you are gonna stay here tonight with the nobles, or uh, do you want to come with us, idiots? Kind of like, you can see him debating, kind of like... <laughs> That's why I added the idiots on at the end. Hey, but also then, you know, the elf, right? You know. So really, it's... I don't know. Well, I I'll kind probably... of feel like someone should probably stay here and make sure that the nobles, you know, don't die. survive. Right. Yeah. I don't know. What I might do is I might come with you guys during the day, see how he forages and everything like that, see if he actually makes your dagger properly or not, and then come back at night. Good idea. All right, I'm, I'm going to wake everybody up at okay. the end of my watch. All right. Okay, you wake everyone up. Yep. Our much preferred room service. We really need to get back to our place. You hear him crumbling as he comes out. 
You got any ideas on how to get there? No, in the status, no. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go check on the guy that I knocked out last night. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hey there, pretty lady. I yeah. Uh, he like rubs his head. He's like, "How you doing there? Um, haven't seen you around here before." I'm gonna you. I'm just gonna put my hand on his shoulder and do my like, like one hit point lay on hand thing that I have. <laughs> All right. Um, oh my god, I'm literally looking at it and it's still. So one that. You want to attack your level? The healing hands for the Asimar. Yeah, oh, healing okay. hands. It's like. Yeah, so that's your see you around here. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I can see you here again tonight. Oh boy, you don't want to. Buddy, you but... don't remember last night, do you? Nope. Uh, I remember coming in after a long, hard day of work, and uh, no. I usually uh, kind of get blackout drunk. Yeah. Yeah, you called one of the were... little party members ugly, and she knocked your ass out. Yeah. So. I'll, yeah, I'll sounds use about my me. And he just like walks and... off. He's like, do 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 do. <laughs> yeah. Use my healing hands on him, and then. Okay. Feel a little less guilty. I don't. Right. Really I like how he does it. Be... He wasn't surprised one bit though. So. Nope. <laughs> you know, and will continue to happen. Uh, you see the other workers kind of like get up. They kind of like you know rub their eyes, stretch and stuff like that. Even the ones that were drunk as all fuck last night seems not to be uh, suffering ill effects. They get up, go out the door, and then just whoosh, disperse throughout the thing. Yeah, I'm sure I gave well, them all of a black eye, so I was feeling a little guilty. <laughs> yeah, and you yell at me like... about being impulsive. All right. I need it. Daytime, get the fuck out. You hear the proprietor yep. say. We're going. I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been me hitting him. That's very true. I, I pick up my drawing and I show it to um, the lady who was offering to teach me to scry. Oh, this is very well done. She like looks over. Oh, you have skill. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, I do love to draw, but um. This this is my fiance. This is who I'm trying to find. Um, oh, okay. It's my own. Um, and okay, he's where? dressed lovely. Oh, let's see here. And she kind of like looks through a book. She's like, ah, perfect. Pulls out a spare page, puts it over your page, utters something, and you see the blank page she just put down has an exact copy. It's like, um, well, at some point in time, I will definitely try to uh, try to look at that. Unfortunately, right now, I think our energies uh, would be a little bit better spent making sure everyone gets home and of course absolutely I, I i appreciate you even just taking the time to do this i thank you of course of course um if i can't do it perhaps one of the diviners back at the guild could do it they're a little bit you know more specialized than i am uh -huh. uh, my specialty is more of um well talking with people you know uh, making sure everyone gets what they want for deals and everything like that I see. Well, I just, I want to know how, you know, even our talk last night was, this has been a very stressful <laughs> endeavor. Um, I just, I thank you for your patience with me. Of course. It's a very weird place we have here. We're all a little, I think, on edge. Right, right. Well, I guess we suppose we better... Keep going, see if we can't find our way back home. When we just keep walking. Alright, so where are you guys going? We should probably get some food. Yes, that sounds good. You sure? And then, yeah. Very. And then blacksmith. Is it big enough before or after breakfast? What about he... second breakfast? I think I'll he say after us breakfast. Out. Oh, he kicks us out after breakfast? Okay. That'll be nice. <laughs> okay. Then blacksmith. Where's the blacksmith? D'Artagnan just like shrugs and starts walking to the blacksmith. We'll follow. At night, you want to practice your smithing, Ripley. Ah, yes. Draw every fucking yeah. No. Creepy, no. Spooky thing <laughs> <in the> <laughs> Possibly go wrong with that, right? A lot. I, I, I don't think anybody's letting you, uh, letting you smith there, Rips. 
Ripley, if you tried to start smithing and you didn't stop when D'Artagnan suggested you stopped, <laughs> D'Artagnan would have tried to drop you. Emphasis on the drive. Where, where's Ripley? Uh, his headphones aren't working, so he's typing. Oh, okay. It's, I don't know why you guys have other tokens out here. A little sus, pal. little sus. <clears throat> you put them there. No, not those ones. Not that Not. All right, and he is back at his forge. Hi ho, hi ho! Ding 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 ding. Ting. ting is just going to be scoping ting, out a ting. place, especially right. by the water. Yeah, I was thinking that too. And you said that there are trees, like technically, if you look at the map, yeah, like here. There's, there's supposed to be trees up there, yeah. Oh, welcome back. Hello, and you good see morning. him like heating up heating up um some of the metal and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh are you cool <laughs> if we uh, look around the area? Kinda wanna get a feel for what's around here since we wanna stay the night to figure out who's trying to steal your weapons. Sure, have at it. Don't interfere with with the harvesting and uh don't go in the water. Wouldn't what exactly are you harvesting? He points to the he points to any here and points to the pile of metal. You harvest that from the water. Uh yeah. Uh we harvest it. It comes down in chunks from the mountains. We harvest it. Hmm. Uh sometimes okay. the miners will go up further. Uh, and they'll blast them down. But the moment, yeah, they just throw it in the water. Comes down. Hey, Rez, I'm yeah. gonna stick my hand in the water. No, you. All right, hey, what's your armor class? Fourteen. Actually, I'm sticking <laughs> my nub in the armor. In the water. In the armor. In the armor. Okay. I'm tired. I'm, I'm not gonna hammer at night. There are other things smiths do that are not so loud, like what rips. Um, just because it's already too late for you to say anything, I'm surprised you just didn't ask the freaking high powerful cleric to, you know, fix your arm. Um, so there we hold on, you know what, just for the sake of uh, we're gonna go boop, boop. Oh, as. As he goes back, did you ever find your uh, apprentice yesterday? Oh, yeah, he decided to sneak off early. Uh, so he's alive. That's good. Yeah, he should be around here somewhere. He's probably getting some more lumber. I'm going to see. Does anyone want to come with me to just kind of like... I'm not going into the woods. I just want to walk kind of like the perimeter. Yeah, I'll go with you. Are. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it's not. Kind of like it's, a zone. it's not a full forest or anything. Like that. It's literally just a little copse of trees. It's a little poop of trees. Yeah, I know. I still want to look around. Okay. Kind of get a feel for like where we are and what the area is. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna do. It is. So you are right in this area right here on the map. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Boop. Okay. Save you. All right. Uh, so yeah, so you you guys are essentially right here, just around the river bend. Yep. Okay, so the trees are to the south. Yeah. Of them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I completely forgot what the map looked like. It's fine. <laughs> um, there could be there could be a little. You know, it's a pre-gen, right? There might be a little it's trees fine. right here. We never know. I'm sure there is. Trees also grow very fast around these parts, so there's that too. Uh, it's not like there's a satellite map or anything. Boop. All right. All right. Okay, so you're looking at the water. There's there's nothing. The water is a nice, cool, refreshing water that goes by. Okay. And I'll just... Then D'Artagnan's going to go talk to Harbeck. I'm going to go up here. And you're coming with me, Mithria? Yeah. Are you sure about that? 
Well, you moved all the trees down. You moved all the trees down. No, there's a, there's trees up there, and then there's trees. We there's have there. we have all day, so I just want to do like yeah. a slow perimeter of this place. Like, all right. See if anything feels off. <laughs> or... Make a vibe check. Make a vibe check. May I also make a vibe check? Sure. Okay. By the way, vibe check is insight. Natural Just twenty. Out. Plus four. You said insight. Yep. Insight. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So Ripley for the holding weapons and sharpening and stuff like that. That is that is considered what you guys do when you guys go to um, long rest and stuff like that. That's your guys is winding down. You eat. You guys make sure. Um, your maintenance. Make sure everything is like yeah. Maintenance like, like your armor. You kind of like you know make sure everything is good. Repairing like straps and stuff like that. I've got a twelve. Um, okay, the sense of you guys being watched is ever present, um, but it's almost like now there's another. Th it's almost like oh, you know, person A is watching you, but now there's a person B watching you as well. Amaya, this is creepy, right? Like this is the creepiest thing ever. I don't know if it's the creepiest thing ever, but it is creepy. Um, is it just me that's getting that sense, or is everybody getting it? Uh, well, with your vibe check of t natural 20, <laughs> everyone, everyone has the whole, like, you know... Feeling earth. watch. Yeah, but you have the double watch. Oh, okay. what about my... Oh. You got 12? Oh, my... Yeah, your 12 is... Eh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was cute. I'll tell them. Like, I feel like there's a second set of eyes on us. This is so weird. I, know, I just I want to go, go home. home. This is so frustrating. <laughs> go home, too. <laughs> I want my mommy. I want to go home. Yeah. I was supposed to be, like, married a year ago. We could have been... Now we're on this completely other plane of existence. And now we're near finding him, and I... I don't know what to do. Oh, well, just so you know, it's been over a year now because... Yeah, that's what I said. It's been well over a year. It's honestly been closer to, like, three. Oh, leave uh -huh. her alone. Don't let... Don't, just don't just fully... That's the time. Leave her alone. Just fully fucking with her more. Just like, oh, you yeah. think it's that little bit time? No, it's actually been a lot longer than this. Let her have it be a year. Stop it. Leave the poor naive girl alone. Yeah, I just wanted to be married and live my life with my lovely husband and... Make a whole bunch of half-elf babies. <laughs> well, I don't let's, know about that. <laughs> let's, let's find a way home first. One crisis at a time. It feels crisis like it's on infinite Earth. at a time. And well, yeah. There seems to be, but let's let's deal with this one first. Okay. And then we'll see. We want cool weapons, don't we? Or we could just have I some really would. Yeah, I That's know. Me nice. too. God damn it. But, I'm oh. I'm going to pull Harbeck aside from watching the blacksmith for a little bit. Hi. What would you like, Lass? Lad. Lass? Well, thanks. I'm pretty, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes, got well, a fine ass over here. Mm. Yeah. Considering our situation and the fact that I'm not much help right now considering I show him the nub is there anything that you could do about that he lets out this hearty deep laughter that goes even over the roar of the flames that even the scouting group you guys can hear this loud laughter. And as he's done, he's like, I was wondering how long it would take you to figure that out, lad. <laughs> well, and did you cast the hideous laughter on someone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know that one yet. No, he said Anne. So, part of the reason is because I'm still on parole. Technically. Oh, I'm well aware of the fact that that is. I know. I know all about you and your group. Of course. But I figured. All about us? Right now, a hand over parole 
is a little bit more important. Hey, and when we get back, I'll just chop it off. He says, fine by as me. he like walks over to the side, like, all right, hand out, let's do this. Give him the nub. All right, I'm pretty sure this is going to take some time. Oh, no, it's a minute. In other words, we'll get back to have a hand. <laughs> yeah, I because we heard that laughter. I'm gonna say we should probably start heading back to the. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm also gonna. I I have a feeling that we told. Did we tell the group about uh, the message you got last night, Fenrith? Um. Maybe. Probably. What was the message I don't think I will... last night? Seeker Meyer. You know, he's courting someone. It's from a different <laughs> tribe. It's very, you know, hush hush. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was from the. You know, I would have told. You said you told me. Like I would have woken up telling Amaya just so it was for someone else near it away. The yeah. displacer. But, yeah, as we swapped. Yeah, it's a displacer. Oh, so yeah, in the morning I probably would have shared it. Yeah, it was from the displacers. Yeah. Oh. I'd like to think when you guys get back. It's like that one scene from Deadpool. I just have like a baby hand. It only takes a minute. I'm thinking it's going to take us longer than a minute to walk back. Yeah. yeah. Even after hearing a laugh. Yeah. Uh, so after three minutes, you have your hand back. Thank you. Of course. Like I said, as soon as we get back, it's coming off again. Understood. You know, like we're not, not missing the tools, we need to make it a clean cut. <laughs> yeah. Amaya prepares an action to ca cast heal. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I could, but no, we have to do it before we leave. Because healing will not work on him when we're back in town. No, healing will work, regeneration won't work on him. Yeah. No, I thought I tried to cast a heal on him and no magic worked on him when we were in Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 no, it is. Yeah, because of your amulet and I imagine yeah, amulet. I can't do any magic oh. of you on you in town. So right before we leave, we cut your hand off and then I can cast heal. But if we cut your hand when we're there, no magic works on you. <laughs> yeah. So you have six seconds from the time the portal opens to get out of there. Quick, chop it off, heal, then jump through. I know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Fenrith, so are I'm you gonna... gonna tell their group? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell them and what then, pieces I have of the message. How they found something and they found something yeah. we were looking for. Yeah, that's what he said. I something? could. At least that's what I could piece Someone. together. <laughs> No, which word would I have heard? Was it something or someone? Something. Something. Yeah. So yeah, it was something. So it could be information. It could be an object. It was or spotty. I... It was a heart. Do they, she was do they know we're missing? Do they yeah, know they we're know. out here? No. Well, I was going to say they know what we're missing. Um, <laughs> don't know. All I got was don't plane travel. <laughs> I tried to learn <laughs> we don't know where we are. So Magic's that wording's a little weird, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Well, divine magic is weird out here. Well, As I point to her with my new arm, with my new hand. What the hell? Which is divine Whoa. magic? It oh shit! Yeah, you're right. I gotta roll for him. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm gonna laugh if this if this hits the ten percentile. Uh, that would be funny. You know what? King, pick a uh, 10 percentile. Which one? Do you want to do 10? Mm. Do you want to do 20s, 30s, 40s, what? Let's go 60s. 60s? All right. Ooh. Nope, you're good. <laughs> 84%. Wow. I'm going to walk over. All right. And, like, touch his hand. What the hell? For the time being. How did you, how did you grow that back? He's part lizard. I, I gesture to Harbeck. I told That's a you that there was a wonderful job you've done there. I've told you before that there's magic. I just can't do it. It's too powerful for me to do right now. I know. No, I'm telling you, Anne. 
<laughs> she seemed very confused about regenerative magic. It was a joke, love. Oh, God, <laughs> well, uh... you know what? Did you? No, I don't believe you. <laughs> All right. You see Harbeck looking at the metal that's there. I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like walk up next to him. And go. It's really cool, right? Ah, it is very, very, very interesting. Turns around, he's like, "Lad, do you mind if I try my hands at this?" Burns like, "Uh, no. Go ahead." And you can see Harbeck like kneel down, and you see him start uttering something as he starts to chant for a bit. He's trying to identify the metal. <laughs> Yeah, I've um, I'm going to tell everybody about the second set of eyes that I felt while we were doing our perimeter search. D'Artagnan snaps the fingers on his left hand, just like, oh, well, fire ignites in his palm. I can solve the forest problem. No. Well, oh, it was an offer. We do not burn the forest. We don't burn shit. I'm just saying I felt a second set of eyes as I was doing a perimeter check. Doesn't mean that it was from the forest, just it felt like someone else is watching us. Okay, where were you at? That you Why felt are we like being scried on? Watching? I don't know if it's like being scried on. I don't know. Well, I don't... it was an idea, but... yeah. It's just weird. Was it like all. around here that I was feeling it, or was it just like as we were walking? As you're walking. It's just as we were walking. It's Boop. not like from any place in particular. Well, we've right. probably been making waves compared to the av the locals. Oh yeah. Well, we I had... made waves when I shoved my nub in the river too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to see if anything would bite it, to be honest. I heard there's this... Do you not think that something could have of... pulled you in? Well, that was an afterthought at the time. <laughs> yeah. but there's, and that's why you there's lost your hand in the first fishing. place. Uh -huh. Where you stick your hand in a hole and wait for something to bite it. Yeah, but you don't have out. a hand. Yeah, exactly. So it looked like a worm. Oh, oh! As like, I just face his palm and walk away from him. It's <laughs> probably a good idea, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna go to the the group of the nobles to see what they're what they are going to do tonight. Well, I'm pretty sure that it's you know taverns probably gonna be the best option, right? Most and the other girls kind of nod. Likely. We are gonna stay out here tonight. Are you sure though. that's the best course of action? Would it not just be staying in the tavern, staying safe, be better at, you know, getting home, alright? Well, when you're trying to figure things out, sometimes you've got to get your hands dirty. But I'm sure you wouldn't know anything about that. I'm well aware of how to get my hands dirty. It's only dirty when necessary. And this seems not necessary in the slightest. Have well, you met us? we're trying we're... things. We're... Sometimes you just gotta take a risk. <laughs> You've been with us for what, like three days? And you saw those idiots before. Like, have you learned nothing? I learned... You don't know what you're doing. And you don't know how to get home. So... Deal. At least we're trying something. And I also want a pretty dagger, so... That too. Pretty Unless weapons we... are sick as hell. Unless you can make something like that... Yeah. Of course I can, but not here. I don't have any access to any of my smiths that I usually... Uh... Hire out to. Yeah. I was well, going to say, you don't look at all like the type to work with your hands. Of course, There's I work also... with my hands. It takes a lot to be able to count very quickly and hand over the coin and gems. Mm -hmm. okay. We also don't know if we have this mineral where, we're, where we live, so yeah, getting something made true. of it is kind of... This is just, you can't, we can't pass up this opportunity. 
also we can yeah. use it as a recall true that check. too could you have him make a tuning for i don't think so that's a pretty big specialty item isn't it Uh, I mean, that depends on what's required of the tuning fork for it to work. Yeah, if it just has to be a specific much. note of material. I, then... I, I don't know. I just know you can buy tuning forks, but I don't know how to make them. That's DM territory. Uh, I mean, if only you guys had a master smith around to be able to forge it, right? <laughs> Back. That's where I'm getting at. Is I immediately turn around turn. to go talk to him. Yeah. Wait, wait, just wait. Leave the nobles. We're like even <laughs> even after the say about twenty minutes or so of you guys talking with the nobles and stuff like that, you see him still out there. He's still chanting. Hmm. Leave him alone. Well, I, I pull her back. Thing. I pull her back, and I'm like, let's just wait till he's done. Oh yeah, that's right. We wouldn't want to interrupt his special no, um... disturbing spells. No, yeah, just gonna. Go uh, uh, actually, you know what? Him doing that is going to make me um, want to use Augury. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ritually cast it. So I'm going to look at D'Artagnan and Mithria and be like, just Behave. have people leave me alone while I do sure. No problem. D'Artagnan, no messages in the head. Please. Okay. You and can I'm say gonna... anything about Fenrith. <laughs> uh, Fenrith no. I am going to sit right. down, and I'm going to spend ten minutes, and I'm going to cast Augury. And while she's doing that, I'm making a stone structure. Okay. I can take out my bones. And... Um, Fenrith, Mithria, as, as you guys are doing all this, you can see... Um, the smith kind of like look over at you guys as he's like hammering down whatever he's making and the fact that there's two people chanting relatively close <laughs> by and another just like scooping up earth and forming it and he's kind of like what the fuck is going on look like he's like just, what it doesn't help <laughs> that there's black smoke now coming off yeah. of me either I just smile and wave like this is any other Tuesday afternoon smile and wave boys smile and <laughs> smile wave, and wave. <laughs> Is that spell? Okay. So that's ten minutes, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to see um, what kind it is. You, as you do that, and as you finish up, um, <laughs> you guys watch, and you kind of see, what? What are they? They're what do you use? Me? Yeah. I use bones. Okay, so normally the bones like fall down into like certain patterns and stuff like that. As you see Amaya finish, you see all the bones standing straight up. What? Artanya's just going to look at Fenrith and be like, well, we're fucked. <laughs> um, yeah, do you know what this it means? Just grabs <laughs> Fenrith, frightened out of her mind. What does that mean? That's spooky. Amaya, do you have a translation? Uh, <laughs> I'm not really like present for this right now. I'm in my head. No, no it's as it's as you guys as you finish it, like when when you, sh you should be getting the reading. Right. That's the reading is the reading is the bones stand up. Yeah, instead of them telling you for what they're supposed to do, they're just standing up as if like you know, it's like heads or tails and you flip the coin and it lands on its edge. It's like that's not that's that's not helpful. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> look at everyone and go, We're fucked. What kind of fucked mm. are we? Uh, uh, the, the fucking good, kind. The good kind or the bad kind? Um, the bad kind. I'm gonna, like, well, kind of, like, bad cover... Kind. I'm talking about, are we, like, in immediate danger, or are we just no. No, 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 very no. unlucky? Just very unlucky. I think that means oh, we're shit. about to have a bunch of, like, hill giant dicks shoved up our asses. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, slowly take my I'm hand and, and like... Danger. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> It's your favorite thing. <laughs> Just because I know like, I can't. <laughs> this is do it high pitched enough, and then we'll come through on Discord. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take my hand and like, like almost like over the bones, but like not touching them. Like, cause you said they're standing straight up, right? Yeah. yeah. Does it feel like um, almost like a wave of energy coming off of them, or just like this weird ominous? Normally, 
there would be something like that, you feel a void. Let's also like this. Is is um no oh, signal, no signal. <laughs> no sig no, this is more this is worse than no signal. Um, this is dead zone. Now, does this mean like is the this god like... you are currently trying to contact is outside of your service range? Please get the package or get into service range. Thank you and have a good day. Um, has master? Oh my god! I ha... Why do I no. have to keep on? I don't know. Harbeck. Harbeck. Oh my god! I can't. Um, has he finished his chanting? Nope. No. And the bones He's are still there. You know. I'm He's just a gonna... high. Priest of Morden, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave the bones the way they are. Okay. Just floating there? You're standing there? Just <laughs> standing there. Until Harbeck's done. No I'm one touched draw them. In my... okay. No, no I'm one drawing in my them. sketchbook. Okay. I you need guys... another cleric's opinion. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just gonna then fast forward until he's done. Yes. Okay. About yep. fifty minutes later. Actually, no, it'll be about half an hour later because it's already been about half an hour. He finishes chanting, and you see a piece, uh, an ingot of the metal all of a sudden form into a dagger as he touches it. And he gets up. He's like, "All right, well, interesting. Good to know that." And he kind of mm -hmm. just like gets up Learned. and walks over to you guys. What is that? Back. Hey, what was it like? Uh, and I kind of like gesture <laughs> to the bones and go, something weird happens. Hey, I, I don't think that's supposed to happen. What were you asking there, Anne? What was it what about what? I was trying to get a sense of whether the enemies came from the water or from the land for tonight, just to kind of get a feel. Of what, and I, it, no answer, void. Feels like something is sucking the magic away. Kind of like kneels down, he looks around, he's like, interesting. Um, I got nothing, honestly. Normally, augury works flawlessly every time. Uh, yeah, I've never had a problem with it. He kind of like pokes one of the, the bones and just like falls over. Like, all right, well, they're not stuck that way. That's Who's good to drawing know. that? Now. <laughs> oh, and you've never heard of anything just fucking with our magic completely? Ah, uh, no. No. Right, I'm gonna take the bones. He turns gingerly. Up. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the bones and put them back into my uh, black leather pouch that I keep on my hip. He looks over at Anne. He's like, "You were asking something last. What was that?" Ah, yes. Oh, no, I was just drawing, and then it fell over. <laughs> no, 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 no. He he pushed one over. Do you know how to make a tuning fork? A <gasps> tuning yes, fork. That would be the... Generally speaking, I don't really make cutlery. Um, Kind of, you know... It's a magic... No, no, no. Really... I, not eating fork. I, I, do, I draw a quick sketch of a tuning fork. This is a tuning fork. Generally speaking, forks would be better with at least like three or four tines. But um, uh, it's not you know, I eating, guess Alice. that I could make is. something like that. But unfortunately, I don't know if it requires a certain spell or anything like that to actually make it useful for the plane shift spell. Well, do we, any we of just need it out of material from this plane, and then we can cast the spell later. I'm gonna ask the wizard lady if she knows anything about. What it requires to make a tuning fork. As you walk over, she's like, oh, what? Uh, um, ah, uh, hi. Ah, uh, she um, rubs her eyes. She, apparently, she had it was having a nap. She's like, um, tuning fork. Um, I don't know fully about them. Um, normally it is, you know, if I need it to go to a certain plane, then I just go to the guild, say, hey, I need a, a tuning fork for here, and do it. Uh, generally speaking, that is the Artificers Guild that makes them. Um, I want to say that you could probably just, you know, any material from that plane works, at least if, if it's high quality. Um, fully? I don't know. Um, I would love to ask some of my compatriots, but unfortunately, you know, <laughs> didn't think I'd be need needing a tuning fork for s a simple supper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you know what, Master Harbor, could you just make us one and we'll figure, just make the shape for us and then we'll figure out if we can actually use it or not later? Ah, <sighs> you could always ask, eh? He goes over to the blacksmith and the blacksmith's like, um, sure, go ahead. He looks a little confused and also like the fact that Harbeck just touched a piece of the ore and it just formed into a dagger. Mm -hmm. Once again, I, I look at him and I'm going, we're not from around here. You see Harbeck, he start, like shuts his eyes, he starts to chant, and you see in his hand it looks like, um, um, like magma almost flowing up into his hand. Whoa. And so he's as he's... Cleric. As... Yeah. No, the High Priest of Morin is not going to be a Forge Cleric. Well, he could be something else. And as as it goes, it kind of like forms into that the shape of a hammer, and then all of a sudden you see parts of it start to harden, so like making a crust like it does with Magma and stuff like that, so you can see to see some some of the fire coming out. And, they t and he closes his hand around the shaft of it, and he picks up a piece of the metal, and you see him start working. And it's like, ting! Ting! And he's very quickly working this metal. And you see the, the blacksmith looking absolutely like, holy fuck. Uh, you're looking at it probably about mm, 20 minutes and it's done. Can I can I go up and get it from him? Yeah. You see him kind of like take it with his bare hand, put it into the water, here's a as it cools off. And then he holds it up. He's like, all right, uh, that maybe will work. I'm not too terrible sure, but, you know, hey, tuning fork. If hey. not, then it's a two-tined fork you can use to poke other stuff. Which is awesome. Thank you. Okay, so in parentheses, I'm going to put tuning fork. <laughs> um, I did promise the blacksmith food. You did, for yes. um, my dagger. It's like, oh right, hi. Well, uh, I'll get on your dagger right now. And you see him like take a, a chunk of the metal and like throw it in to start heating up. I thank him. All right. What else would you guys like to do? I want to ask Harbor if he learned anything interesting about the material while he was examining. It's very fun to work with. Very hardy. It's interesting. A little bit harder than steel, but works in very similar ways. Hmm. Cools down a little rapidly, but other than that, it's fine. I'm going to go to the blacksmith and be like, well, I cannot give you food, but what can I do for a sword? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it looks at you, he's like, Honestly, I don't know. Uh, the boy there, he's harvesting everything. Um, I, I don't know. I could go harvest more lumber for you. <laughs> uh, all the lumber I possibly need, and he like points over to the pile. Like, oh, it's all there. I get all the scraps from the lumber mill that they don't need. They're all the size I need for uh, the tools and stuff. How about we figure out who the hell is stealing your weapons? For his sword. Is that good enough payment? That should work, yeah. Alright. Cool. Oh. Alright. I'm just gonna go keep working on the fort. Okay. Are you guys wanting to do anything else during the day? Mm, just chilling. Mm. Okay. Uh, you see Harbrick talk with the smith, and he's, you see Harbrick start to work with the smith, and it becomes very obvious how skilled Harbrick is, especially compared to this guy. As he starts teaching him some stuff, <laughs> and he's not using not, any of the smith tools. He's surprising. using his hammers, like ting, ting, and it, he's melding the, like he's working the, the metal a lot faster. Not surprising. All right, well then we can do a time skip. I need uh two of you guys to roll a d12 for me, please. Okay. Or throughout the day, I will be so. right back. All right. I can put. I can't. Alright. A12. Okay. Mithria, yours. Uh, Four. Okay. Alright. Guys go by relatively uneventful. 
you can see the girls just relaxing against uh, his house wall. They're just like waiting for you guys because they don't want to do anything that you know they know how dangerous. You can see um, Yarly if he kind of is like making a, a primitive fan type thing and trying to keep a little bit of the heat off, even though it's not too terribly hot out. I'm gonna sit on, sit on the dock and just watch the water for a while. Yeah, what's the what's the weather like? Uh, it's like a summer day out. Nice. I will pull out my lyre and play something calming and peaceful. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's nothing in the water, really. No, I'm just watching uh. the water. You can, as you're saying there, you can see the apprentice working. He, like, pulls up nets, and you see, like, there's, you know, seaweed and stuff like that, some dirt and stuff like that, but then he'll, like, brush it off, and he'll see gemstones, and he'll kind of, like, look at it and, like, toss it onto the dock as if it's just, you know, like a crab or something like that that a fisherman does. Gemstones that back back in the guild would have fetched you a pretty penny. Mm. And he's just like... You want to watch it hard because he's working? All right. Um, he does that, and you can see the cages that are in here. He kind of, like, throws a hook over to kind of bring them up, and he pulls them up, and he struggles a little bit. And you can see that's where this um, darkened steel is. Is you pull it out, and you'll see little chunks of it and everything. And once he gets enough, he'll get, like, a wheelbarrow, fill it up with whatever, go in. And if it's a like, wheelbarrow full of gem, he'll come over this way. And then he'll disappear for it. Like, he'll come down here, into there. And then he'll disappear for a little bit and then come back with it empty. So he's probably, like, sorting all the gems into what they're sorting supposed to be. And then, boop, and he comes back and he just keeps on doing this. <laughs> right, I'm just going to sit and meditate in front of the water. Okay. You guys do that. Mithria plays her song. That just, like, bells out to the air. Uh, it starts to get later and later in the day. You... You guys, since you guys are just, like, relaxing and stuff like that, you notice the apprentice kind of, like, looks around, kind of like, okay, blacksmith's not watching, and he's like, never gonna catch me, and he just kind of, like, disappears. Sneaking out of work early type. <laughs> but, they go, continues going on. Um, you see there is about four short swords and about half a dozen daggers done. Nice. Well, without the handles and stuff like that. Right. And then as it starts to get later, you see the black. The blacksmith, after a bit, kind of just like lets Harbeck do the smithing, and then he goes in, and it seems like he's going to be finishing them and everything like that. Um. And I was asking for a scimitar, just. A scimitar. Aye, lad. I can easily enough do that. You see him, like, pull out a chunk of the metal, and he starts working. And just his, it just his arm pumps, and he's like, ting, 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 ting. Hey, Starbuck. Um, I'm gonna go up to Fenrith and and everybody who's not in the Smith right now, and try to be like, you know, what's, where are we going to basically, air quote, hide in an open aired area to see who is stealing his shit. Really? Well, I spent what? all day building this fucking thing. <laughs> he built you a Minecraft dirt house. Shouldn't I you have mean, done it behind us, the place that has the wall? Some of us could hide on the roof. Okay, can you see through a wall? No. Uh, roof is a good idea. Is this How high is this roof? It's a one-story building. Hmm. It's just a, it's just a small house for him. It's not it's not it, he's a he's a peasant, so it's not like he has a lavish place. It's literally just. Yeah, so this the roof is my hometown. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah so yeah. the fort I built. Roof. Is like it's not like the what's it called? Oh, uh, there was a Native American tribe that used to like dig holes in the ground and then build a roof over the holes. Oh, so it's not up, it's underground. What? No, it's up. It's it's partially up, but there's like... I don't know. Uh, oh, I, I know what you're uh, talking about. Four or five feet underground. 
and then like a central pole to hold up the roof and then i made like sheets of stone how do we get out of it just tell me when you see something and i blow off the roof how are we gonna (laughs) see it if we're underground leave a little slit yeah they're slits so you can see out i didn't just make a sealed box yeah i was very confused Oh, not a lot of space for all of us, but sure. Well, some of us can hide on the roof. Yeah, I guess you're going to get real, real close there. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> okay. So, oh. let me see if I can find them. Mm, okay. It almost looks like a hobbit hole. <laughs> so... Also, I like how you put it right beside it instead of putting like off a little bit. So yeah, that's why I was really confused of your placement. Well, so as far as I understand it, the plan is we wait up, hiding. Yeah, and just looking for whatever comes. What do we do when something does come along? Kill it. What if we don't we want just get up and kill it, or do we want to follow it back to its hidey hole? Or what if its hidey what? hole's in the water? We fucking kill it. I ain't swimming in that. Goodbye, nobles. Mugs, look in general. I see it. Yeah, I know, but it sh- still should not be right in the front of the place. And I think I would have said it if I had realized that's what you were doing. Okay, then. I would have told just... you to put it to the side. Or give us a little bit more of an angle. I would say probably angle. like right here. Just yeah, because Perez, put it wherever you think would be a good spot. Because we put still it have, on top I mean, of the blacksmith's house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like right there, that's still sixty feet for dark vision. I mean, that's a decent amount for dark vision. Yeah. But if you do it like right here, that way you don't fuck with this house or anything like that. Or you guys could also do it like. Yeah, but I feel like we'd have to. We need to yeah. see like what's here. Like I want to see this area. If this is where he's getting broken into. Well, that's why we have someone on this roof or on this roof. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with somebody basically out in the open. What about like those big birds? Well, that's things? what you get a ghillie suit for. <laughs> you don't, do you have a ghillie suit? Because I sure as hell don't have one. We could make What's one. Ghillie suit? Too late. He's going to bed. <laughs> um. Did you leave the weapons in the shop? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He'll go with the nobles. Are you guys going to escort the nobles back? Might as well, just in case. Oh, uh, we probably take them back good. before it got too late. Before it got too late for us to make it back safely. Yeah. 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 Don't worry, I will keep them safe. I don't yeah, worry. Yeah. We'll got that. To be fair, you have an ex adventurer, a high yeah. mage, a high priest guarding, then the noble and the the other lady dudes. of the house. Yeah. Well, I went her as a noble, but yeah. I have 120 feet of dark vision. That's ridiculous, Ripley. Yes, he yeah, does. Yeah, Ripley has not dark vision. He's got the best Woo! dark vision. He has drow dark vision right there. Yep. All right. So they walk. They walk Whoa. there. <laughs> you guys go. And as you guys come back, the weapons are gone. Did it? Did it? Did it? No. Turns out it's just the apprentice is putting them into a container right now. And selling them. <gasps> yeah. Rude. <laughs> no. Um. All right, I gotta go take some meds. I'll be right back. Okay. So. Okay. So you where are you guys? Okay, so set up for the night. You guys are going into the hole. Um. Um. I would feel better if someone were outside watching them. At least right. not maybe. I'm the stealthy. I will be on top of the house. She <laughs> not with your weight. Actually, I don't weigh much. 
because I looked it up. I weigh the same as a normal human. I just look like I'm made out of rock. Well, probably as well just... You have the Cloak of Elven kind, don't you? Uh, no, I have the Cloak of Protection on. Uh, Actually, was... who ha- I don't remember who has the Cloak of Elven kind. I if anyone I has it, if anyone has it. Anybody has it on right now. Because you could, <laughs> ha- like, just go in this corner and make it yourself look like a part of the wall. I mean, I could probably do that anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Give the yeah, cloak of Elven kind go hide. to um, Venrith, I thought, because you couldn't use it when we were in town. Well, he was using my cloak. He took it off because he's using my cloak. To have it. But yeah, but he, he it took it off because he's using... I just don't have yeah. who he gave it to. I don't think we because said anyone because no one was... I don't think I specifically gave it to anybody. It was just here. I have Venrith's cloak. Anybody that wants this one. So I'm going to use Mold Earth. To essentially create a little addition to the house right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, right, yo. So now make a stealth check. Easy. <laughs> Why? I'm also Why? going to cast Pass Without a Trace. There you go. Life. Are you guys going to rest while it's happening? Like I'm everyone sleep, rest. or are you guys going to stay awake and just like hope that your adrenaline will carry you through the night? Oh fuck that! I um, sleep. <laughs> as an elf, I'll be staying up for most of the night. Yeah, okay. you only need the last four hours to get your full rest. Yeah, well, yeah, like the last few nights, her sleep schedule's been on duty for the first shift, <laughs> then she goes to sleep, and then she's just awake for the third shift. <laughs> duty yeah i think Gosh. i'm going to sleep through the first shift and then stay up through the next two so that stealth check is a astronomically fucking high 37 what i rolled a natural 20 plus 10 from pass without a trace plus 7 from being a rogue with expertise and stealth yeah he's ridiculous so it's a, I roll stealth with advantage. Do I get the plus 10? Uh, I don't know if... I don't think you're close enough. ...extend all the way over there. Hold on. Because pass without a trace... It's 30 feet. If I'm not... So no. Yeah, so if I don't get the pass without a trace, it's an 18. Yeah, you don't. No. You're not okay. within 30 right. feet of me. So okay. first watch. I don't have view of the map. So first watch is Mithria, right? Yes. Okay. Second watch is Rowan. Who's taking? I'll third be up first. Rowan. Rowan on third. Maya's third. All right. And I'll go on third. Okay. So Maya and are third. Mithria, you're all alone for the first watch. Um, and even though I haven't felt um, my ring go off, I'm still going to be like, hey, in my head, just thinking about him. And okay. The ring and Perception it's... and your d20. 12. Perception is a 16. And d12 is a 7. Okay. As you're on watch, you hear some sounds like, like, like almost like howls go, like uh, owls going, like howling out and stuff like that, and some other creatures going, kind of looking around. Doesn't look like there's anything. And I'm lo- looking at the shack. Does it seem like there could be any mischief happening over there? Nope. It look. It's. It seems very quiet. Alrighty. Very and quiet just for day. as a point of order. I am linked with Amaya right now. Good boy. Um, that way, <laughs> you sure as hell in case I sleep. I fall off or I fall asleep. Just you yell at me in my head. I'm the one out cold right now, but sure. Um, <laughs> you can inspire yourself. You know that, right? Uh, can you? 
Um, I think she can. She can't stand can by herself? What? Let me look because it might be something. Um, um, other than yourself, Scanlan. Oh. So Scanlan had a thing. Yeah, with peerless skill. I was just saying, I thought there was a skill so that thing. okay, so she can't do yeah, it. Yeah, that's. No, that's College of Lore, fourteenth level. Gotcha. And she's not College of Lore. Okay. Ripley, Ooh. are you there? Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. 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 Welcome. Hello. And he's gone. Anything going no, on with you? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, I got home, so I can actually speak now. Yay! Nice. Um, at the end. Okay. Um, second watch. I need you guys' perception check. D12s. D12s. Okay. Uh, there might be a random encounter on your random encounter. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go back to that Bane short. Hi there! Heard you like random encounters. We give you random encounters on your random encounters. So you can randomly encounter your random encounters. Eight. Okay. 23 for perception. Okay. You woke up, you're all groggy. <laughs> no, he woke up. He's 23 for perception. That's yeah. pretty damn good. Wrong. Oh, I, I, didn't hear, I didn't hear the 20 uh... part. I just thought he said 3. Oh, yeah, no, 23. Oh. <laughs> well, not great. Uh... That's significantly better. <laughs> Rowan is the one that was groggy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One's okay. groggy. Uh, I think I have a plus two to perception. Oh, let me see. Okay. Here. Um, and then third watch. And Venrath. <laughs> Are you going to roll the d12? Uh, you can. Oh, me? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm, yep, so I have to pull my phone away from oh, my ear to right. do anything. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm currently using my phone as a phone instead of my headphones. Gotcha. So perception for me is a 22, and I rolled a 2 on the 12. Okay. And Fenrith, what was the... Uh... Your My perception? perception was a six, 16. Okay. All right, you guys are there. It's nice and dark out. As you guys are going, you're waiting and waiting. Do we see it? Do you see me moving them? Yeah. Cool. You do, yeah. Then I'm going to mentally yell at uh, D'Artagnan to wake his ass up oh, and right. shake the other two. Do I see a thing? You do not. I'll point no. to him. All right. Yeah, well, that's right. This is, this is third shift, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm awake then. I look over. Do I see anything? Uh, Would I see them? No, you're, you're asleep. I'm this waking your shift. ass. I'm waking everyone up. Dun, you can tell me to wake people dun, up. I can start dun, yelling in people's heads. Yeah, I well, because I was linked to D'Artagnan, so I woke him up. Yeah. And wake everybody else up. And from where D'Artagnan is at, he cannot see a fucking thing. I'm going to tell you behind... Buildings? Huh? You can't see through buildings? No. No. Nope. They're behind <laughs> the building. I don't have my x-ray vision. Uh, what, what, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, it's 80 feet. How far is he from me? Not him. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't see. <laughs> is this retconning that we don't see anything? You don't see anything, Yep. Because no? right now, 60 there. foot... Yeah, I, all right. Uh, Rowan would be able to see them. Rowan's asleep? 
after oh, a month. I haven't woken oh, them yeah. up yet because I haven't seen them because they haven't come into view yet. But we know that that's a stone wall, right? Yeah. So okay. I think I think that's I think that's your your. Yeah. A little further, but yeah. Where oh, the I'll green. Keep, 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 keep right. There. Yeah, where the green guys are. Yeah, green gems. Okay. All right, and then they're going to go. And I see him and wake everyone up. You see two figures skulking in shadow. Like... And D'Artagnan. Number four gets the crossbow. Oh, I was gonna. Um, I was awake. I had it. Number four. I'm shooting at number four. I was gonna cast um, uh, fairy fire on them so they can be seen. Oh, All right. you really fucking like. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Um, All right. So everyone, roll initiative, and we'll start with initiative then. <laughs> I oh, actually yeah, rolled on. good. I rolled a good initiative. God damn it. <laughs> Ten. I got nineteen plus one. I'm a twenty. Ooh, My I'm first freaking good thing. initiative since we've started playing. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> I rolled a twenty-one. I want that die. I have twenty-one sides. Well, that's a total of twenty-one. Because <laughs> that's an eighteen plus three. They're skulking. What is their initiative bonus? Plus a 13. Okay, so... Amaya, what'd you roll? I rolled a 20. H have we Anybody rested roll since? higher than a 21? Yeah. Full, full rest. I oh. rolled, um... Yeah, I got a total of 24. Jesus fucking Christ. Jeez, I guess I'm <laughs> groggy or something. Everyone's 20s. Uh, D'Artagnan, what was yours? 21. Okay. Okay. So they move up. And with that, then it will be Mithria's turn for the whole. Dun, 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 dun. You're casting fairy fire on them, right? Um, I'm double checking that because I don't want to heck this up. Check your distance. Yeah. Here, I'll find it for you. Very fire. Oh, no, I got it, I got it, okay. okay, okay 60 okay. feet. And it's a 20-foot cube. So on a single target, it's anything within a cube? Yeah. Yep. And then once you get oh, failed your deck, oh, that's what's going to It's right there. So you're going to hit these two? That's what yeah. I'm going to hit, yeah. Hit them with fairy fire. Okay, so I have to make a dexterity save. Uh, thir wisdom 13. It's a dex save. Wisdom? Oh, yeah. wait. Dex. Dex 13? Confirmed. Saving throw. <laughs> the f the number 6 is like, no. Would they have disadvantage because they don't know we're doing it? Like, Yeah. Aw, you think they don't know where you guys are. That's cute. It's worth a shot. It doesn't matter. If they don't know that we're actually awake and fucking it. It's fine. Once you hit him with fairy fire, I get advantage on my uh, crossbow attack. Did number uh, one pass? Uh. What? So they failed. That's good. Oh. I thought you asked if they. I'm. I didn't. I'm tired. <laughs> what? They passed my saving throw? This is bullshit. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> All right. You I guys... don't know how to play Dungeons and Dragons. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. She. All right. You see Juan just light up. All right. It's he's covered in purple light, by the way. Yay. Fairy lights. Purple power, D'Artagnan. He's not awake yet. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I screamed. As, I screamed at him. Oh, okay. I screamed at both of them. Got my crossbow up. Was gonna shoot, but Mithria beat me to it. 
<laughs> what? Ah, uh, get pranked. <laughs> get hey, pranked. This is, this is a fucking good initiative for me. Like, come on. I normally roll like a two for initiative. If only, All right. If only. Well, there's a glowing boy. Six is going to get. Is that a number six? I thought it was a number one. Oh, number six. Glowing six is. Six is going to get mind spiked. I need an intelligence saving throw. <sighs> what did you see? DC thirteen. Okay, he makes it. Well, I'm just going to flip him off. <laughs> I'm going for number one since he's glowing. I thought you said number six got hit too. No, he's like, no. Oh, okay. I'll go for the glowy boy. Okay. So with my crossbow, the plus Fire three. Fact. So 16 to hit. Number one. Sixteen. Um, it's. Did you say hits? Hits. Yeah. Ah, yay. Uh, eight. And I would have moved up to here. Yeah, that I'm gonna do that after I'm done. So it's a plus one to that. So if eight. No, five plus so. so six damage, and then I'm going to have thirty feet of movement. One, two, six to, to six to one. It's yeah, six damage to one, and then I'm gonna move this. It's thirty feet. I'm gonna move right there. Hold on, and I'm gonna draw my draw my sword. Okay, are you using charcoal? Or are you using what, what are we using here? I think she was using oil. This paint. is the first time I am taking out my sword. A Gallivmore, leave me be. <laughs> All right, Robin. Okay, uh, I'm gonna. Oh, and D'Artagnan, okay. in your head, real quick, you hear, "Keep one alive." No promises. No, keep one on alive. Unconscious but alive. We need we need info. I'm gonna dash up to this guy. Okay. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna use my giant's might, which is a bonus action. Okay. And and then I'm gonna use uh, an action search to take on the attack. Okay. Come on. Oh, yeah. God, no. I was <laughs> real close to it, too, though. I was like, maybe. Mm, the second time you've hit with an action surge attack. Hey, you got to add him up, right? Yeah, take it. That's like two of 12. It's 26 to hit. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's see. And then uh, I hit him. I might as well just keep it going with the extra 2d6 from Fire Room. Oh, Jesus. Take him down. <laughs> I'm in danger. No, Wait, are you large or are you still a, your normal size? Uh, no, I'm large. So that is... Oh, well, he, eight he, from that. Eight he from the... the route for us. It's easier to get out. <laughs> uh, that's just for my weapon. So it's eight... And two, that's 13 for my weapon. Okay. Uh, that is two more from being a giant. So that's 15. Good, I see the guy. I see two. And that's nine fire have, damage. Does this make 15. Uh, 24. Uh, that's it. That's all the damage I have right now. Oh, six. and he has to make a uh, strength saving throw. It'll be real strange if he's still alive. 24 is... I don't know. What? What? In the what? What? Uh, he must Thanks, make a strength saving throw. <sighs> yeah, because they're strong. Ooh, they actually are strong. Shit. Um, 19. Uh, he makes that. 
So he's not restrained, but he just took a bunch of damage. All right. Uh, Fenrith. Okay, I'm um, going to move up. Okay. Do you want to just go 30 feet forward? Okay, you're 30 feet up. You should be able to see number... Uh, yeah, you should be able to see number two, right? Yeah. He's within the 60 feet of our dark vision. Yeah, basically. 30 feet number two. Okay, actually, do I... Do you what? Huh? Do I see anything around me that weighs between one and five pounds? Not really. No rock? Okay, then I drop a tablet on the ground. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, yeah. Do your javelin attack. Uh, I need a dex no. Dexterity saving throw? Yeah, I need a dex save. Yep. DC 16. Uh, yay, 19. Okay, so he takes half damage. So he takes seven points of. I'm assuming this changes it to piercing damage. Uh, it was his number two. Yeah. So far, okay. Uh, whoa, whoa. Um, piercing damage, right? You see it shoot towards him, and he full on just ducks out of the way. Just. <laughs> but yes, it would be piercing damage if All it right. hit. In the robes. <laughs> That's your go. Um, he we went all rage as well. After that, Ooh. all right. Oh. Well, yeah, let's get weird in this bitch. Uh, I hit a six. A six, you say? Please tell me that's the one I think it is. Yes. Is it poofy? Oh, shit. You're surrounded by multicolored protective lights. You gain a plus one bonus to AC. While within 10 feet of you, your allies gain the same bonus. Hey, buddy. I'm right next to you. You see these two figures look at you, Rowan, utter something, and you can see them kind of like flip their swords up ready, and they come into a lunge at you. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> uh, okay, blue is blue. That is that. Two attacks with advantage on each. God damn it. Seriously? Not the time I want to be rolling low. <laughs> um, that is a 14. That does not hit. Okay, what about a uh, 17? That does hit. Okay, so then that is a uh, sneak attack. Regular attack. Da, 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 da. And you don't take, you're not raging or anything, right? No. Okay. I'm a fighter. I mean, that'd be a little awkward if you were, personally. <laughs> uh, 12, 14. I mean, it wouldn't really be awkward. Just saying. Okay. Did you, did you hear me ask if I needed a con save? Nothing. Oh yeah. You. A res. What? Does Penrith need to make a save? For. When I rage. I don't think so. No, it's just. Uh, Robin, you take 18 points of slashing damage and one cold, and yes, you do take it all. Uh, I'm resistant Fuck. to cold damage. Okay, Ooh. so you take no cold damage. Oh, sick! Nice! <laughs> Fuck! Uh, he took the damage, that's bad! Uh, he said, how much damage <laughs> was that? 18. 18? Okay, uh... Alright, and that was the first person. Second person. You said the second person missed. No, no, no. They get two attacks each. Oh, they get two attacks each. Uh, well, that's another. God damn it! That's another um, fourteen. That doesn't hit. 
Uh, and then I'm pretty sure 19 hits you, though. It does. Yeah. So then, another hit coming in. Uh, then 14. Another 18 points of damage. 18, okay. Yep. And... So you, these slashes just arc out, and you see them just bite into your skin and just shing right through. On the end of number six's turn, he has to make a another. He has to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom. Fourteen. That doesn't make it. He is uh, incapacitated. Hey, hey, hey! Rude. Okay. <laughs> rude. How much? Rude. How much damage did you take? I just took uh, thirty-six twice. damage. Shit. Okay, good thing I didn't do that then. Uh, and this one is going to look at you, Maya, and they're like, chick, chick. Aww. They don't, they don't get to uh, sneak attack you, though. You know where they are. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure a 24 hits you, though. Yeah, no shit. Right. Don't worry. It's only... Six points of piercing damage and one cold. I'm doing this math on my thing. Cause... So, seven points total? Yep. As you it, this uh, bolt hits into you, and you feel cold right where it hit. All right. Uh, Mithria, your turn. What are you going to do? Okay. So, I'm gonna go. Okay. At you. And shout at. Let's see. Incapacitated. Oh, hold on. Where'd it go? The blinded dude is your, um, your, um, fairy fire, by the way. I don't have a fairy fire. Yeah. Um. Yeah, hit him. You get advantages on attacks for him. Sick. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna shout out to him. Uh, what did the mother cow say to the baby cow? <laughs> it's past your bedtime and cast hideous laughter. <laughs> oh god. That's uh, what a will to sa will to live save. He <laughs> 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 still has a will to live. Um, I'm about to see. A Wisdom save. Okay, so will to live? Does it? Have, it does not have the will to live. <laughs> oh I... God! It's what incapacitated, right? Yep. Yep. He's so, wrong. And now he's laughing, laughing his booty off. <laughs> and <prone>, I believe. <laughs> and he like falls down. <laughs> okay. God damn. Well, uh, D'Artagnan. Let's see. Um, so many options, and by so many options, I mean so many people that it's, it's easy to just run up and shank them in the kidney. <laughs> I already yelled at you twice to keep one alive. Well, both okay. of these are. So, Arez. Yeah. Short sword dagger. Shiv shiv. Okay. So, short sword. Ah, uh, <laughs> natural twenty. Ooh. All right, you missed. The attack work. Is there's an ally nearby with melee, or is that only ranged? That for works what? for both. Okay. And then the dagger that is a nineteen to hit. Hits. Okay. So, what would normally be 3d6 has now gone up to 6d6. Jesus Christ. Plus sneak attack. That is with sneak attack added. Uh. Actually, no, it'd only be 4d6. So... 4d6 plus a d4. 
All right. So, see that fucker. Four, four laughing incapacitated lad. Four damage? No. <laughs> so, and taking 23 points of piercing damage. 23, eh? Yep. You stunk him. All right. Tis my turn. Uh, Amaya. Yeah, I'm going to walk up to... Oh, my God, why can't I? My brain's starting to go now. Walk up to him, flanking. Um, I never got the uh, stats for my sword. 1d8 if you're using it one-handed, 1d10 if you're using two. Mm-hmm. It's just a sword. But what's the... It's a um plus one sword, I think. So it's a plus one to hit with the sword, even yeah. though I trained with it for so long? Well, pl plus one in addition to your... Um, so it's a plus one magic sword. Your, yeah, so it's... Your strength is plus three... Right? My strength is plus, plus three, three, and then you have a proficiency plus two, that's plus five, so it's a plus six with your sword. It's a plus six. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it two handed, and he's flanked, so. You have advantage anyway, he's incapacitated. The one in between me and Rollin? Yeah, both yep. front and back of me are both incapacitated. Uh, Wait a second. Isn't incapacitated an auto crit, or is that unconscious? I, think that's that's I, I mean, it was a natural 19 to hit him. Uh, Is it prone, the one that gives you that crit? I don't know. Yeah, incapacitated can't take actions or reactions. Okay. So yeah, 19 yeah, hits yeah. for you, by the way. Unconscious well, yeah, natural 19 plus 6. So 25 to hit. And it's a D what? Because I'm doing 10. D10? Yep. Yeah, so it's a D10 plus, plus 4. E ten plus four. I'm gonna write these down. Where are my tens? Oh, right. Those those are tens. Each oh, plus. Gives you advantage. Yeah. No. Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, nothing. Just D ten plus four for right now. It's a ten. So hey, fourteen. Nice. Fourteen damage to number six. My first time using the sword, and then bonus action. I'm going to cast. Uh. Healing hands. Do, 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 do. I, yeah, I actually could cast healing hands because I got a long rest. Um, I'm in on him, so he can, you know, he can survive. Not him. I'm talking to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer healing or a shield? Healing. Healing. Okay. Uh, what's my bonus action? Healing. Healing word. Alright, healing word. Holy I had to get to my spell page. D4 plus whatever your wisdom modifier is. Okay, so healing... Plus one D4 per spell level. I think as a bonus action, isn't it just... Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. Can I do it as a higher spell? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, you can. You can yeah, do yeah. it as level two. I can do level two healing word. Okay, roll a percentile. Oh, son of a bitch! Also, have you been rolling a percentile when you try to regain your spell slots, too? I... No, because you didn't tell her to. You didn't tell did. me to. No, you didn't. You just said when I tried to use magic. It's supposed to be when you uh, try to regain your spells too. My apologies. Um, well, I've been you. doing them. I've been doing my spells ritually. I haven't really been. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Casting, and the ones that so... you have been using is um, cantrips anyway too. So it's. It hasn't come up yet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Do you, percent, you pass your uh, percentile check? Yes, I All do. Right. So you get 2d4? If, if plus one of your um, wisdom, wisdom, is, wisdom is. Which is a plus 6. You have a 22 wisdom? No, it's got a proficiency next to it. Hold on, where's my wisdom? Nope, that's not... That's not and a nope. plus 4. Sorry, plus 4. Yeah. Sorry, my head. Okay, literally <laughs> I just took some meds, guys. Like, Don't expect me to be 
much longer. <laughs> uh, that's a four and a three. Oh no, actually, that's a four. Two fours. Yay. Plus four. Twelve. Do, 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 do. Twelve damage back Ooh. to Rowan. Congratulations. Oh, I get a save against the uh, Tasha City of Slatter because he got stabbed. Um, that one. Yep. Uh, but I only moved. Does on. he have the will? What's your um DC, Mithria? My DC is sorry. Hold on. I I dropped my dice and they fell under my bed. Oh jeez. <laughs> um. Oh no no no. Should be a thirteen. Where, Where do I find that? Copy. I haven't played in forever. What? How do you okay. play D and D? Spell DZ. 13. That's a plus yeah. one. No, her DC is a 13. Uh -huh. He yeah. has the will to live. Broke it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Maya, that's your go. Yeah, I also moved because now I can see number two. That's rude. Rowan? All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to continue to attack number six. Oh, and okay. as I run over, I keep yelling, "Leave one alive!" Stop yelling! You're gonna draw in the fucking bear thing. Uh, okay. Do I get an advantage on that guy, right? Uh, number six, yes. So does I? Uh, 18 hit? Mm, yes, it does. Alright, so that is 3d6. If you smash it with a hammer? Oh, also, Bro. going forward, it is not um, advantage on it. Incapacitated. An incapacitated creature can't take actions or reactions, that's all. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, that go? is... So that is uh, 12 damage to that guy. 12? God damn. At this rate, you're going to kill him. Jesus. Don't do that. No, kill him. He's a and big as a <laughs> bonus action, I'm going to use the second one. Okay. Going to heal yourself up a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> oh, sadness. Oh. Still get five health, but still. Oh, okay. Still. Rowan? Uh, okay. Fedon, sorry. Yeah. Where'd he go? You don't know. Saw him and he disappeared. It's it's not like they uh, have this ability to stealth, and then you moving over there doesn't necessarily mean you see him. Hmm. I walk up to this guy. By the way, um, Rowan and D'Artagnan, as long as you're within ten feet of me, you have one plus one to your AC. Ooh, hey, I have hey. fifteen AC right now. Thanks. Hey. So, and I have advantage on the end. This guy's still lit up like a Christmas tree, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because of somebody that I had to target because of her freaking jokes. I so, mean, what? 25 to hit? Hit? No, that misses. <laughs> okay, so that is. 17 points of damage. Whoa! Wait, what? <laughs> 17 points of damage, nice. I wasn't, that was only a 10 on the die. Ow. <laughs> Rude. Alright, it's their turn. So, Ronald, what did you do to incapacitate this dude, by the way, out of curiosity? So, that is Stone, Stone Room. He gets to make a save at the end of his turn. God damn it. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, that's what. <laughs> it's the thing you hate. I can only do it once per short rest, so. Dude, take it. So, attack for opportunity? Nope. Yeah. Or is it a disengage? 10. Disengage. 15, 20, 20, 30, 35, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50. He's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> you hear him calling out something in a language you guys don't understand. 
This guy is going to peek around the corner and surprise motherfucker at Amaya. No landing. No Does a 20 hit you? Yes. No. Okay. It misses. So that is a... Three? No. Oh, and four, do you think? And a D8. Uh, that is, <clears throat> um, 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage? Ooh. Yeah. That's you get another arrow. Message for you, sir. Dunk. Rogues, man. They hit hard. Yeah. You're lucky they didn't, uh, go actually higher in the initiative order like they should have. Because, man. Um, and at the end of his turn, he gets to make a... Wisdom saving throw, you said? Correct. Ha <laughs> ha! He's like, yo! Not cool, bro. The fuck? Yeah. Not cool. <laughs> Mr. Giant Man over here, you think I'm scared of you? I gotta deal with giant ass lizards. I ain't scared of you. Um. You will be. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidation check from you. Uh, Mithria, your turn. I'm going to. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to um, turn person on number six. Turn oh. person. Charm. Charm person. Oh, charm. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk up and say, "You don't want to fight us. You just want to explain. We just want to know what's going on." I'm gonna laugh when he stabs you. <laughs> what is that? A will wisdom saving throw? Um. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Kind of looks at you. Like you're crazy. You don't know. Did it work? Do you know if it works or not? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's so all just calm down and talk about this. Is that the end of your turn? Or can you do a bonus action? Um... Bonus action. Um... My <laughs> calm, soothing words... Uh, inspire Warren. Or heal Ooh. my ass. No, <laughs> fuck you. You don't yep, get healing. That's fine. Alright. Alright, D'Artagnan. Well. You're going on. Get the one that ran away. No, I thought I would just run around and stab Rowan in the dick. Hmm. Okay. Uncool. <laughs> Um, because Owlbear on the phone is being a bitch. Well, it's at least letting you count your distance. I tried doing that earlier, but let me move. Right. I'm right there. Did he hide or no? No. He just uh, pulled it. You still have your bonus action, bonus action dash, don't you? Yeah, I do. But... I would like a wisdom saving throw, please. I am casting dissonant whispers on this bitch. Why are you sending him farther away? Yeah. It's the highest damaging thing I can do. Fails. <laughs> How much psychic damage? Did he stick at him? Before I do that, I'm in a bonus act bonus action jet dash just to get up to him. 3d6 psychic. So that is four, five, five. 14 points of psychic damage, and it immediately has to use its reaction to run away from me. Did you say 3d6? Yep. And how much did you say was the full? 14. 
Plus, you got melee range, didn't you? I did. And it immediately has to use its reaction because it's frightened of me to run away. I don't think you get an attack opportunity on that, do you? Yep, because it uses its reaction to move. It is isn't still forced movement. Like me. All right. So, that is a... 17 and 5 is 22 to hit. Uh, 8 piercing damage. The only thing worse would be Warcaster with Booming Blade on top of it. Yep. Alright. Damn, these are some tough motherfuckers. My. Yeah, well, I am going to have to do something stupid because I can't pull out my crossbow now that I have my sword. So Dual wield it. Yeah, sword in one hand, that. crossbow in the other. 30 right there. Avenge me. I am going to swing. Avenge what? Avenge me. I'm going to swing. And try Why to hit with you. I can right. get within range of your AC. <laughs> That's good. 16 plus... Oh my god. What did we say my sword was plus? I gotta write it down, six. I'm sorry. Six. So 22 to hit. Hit. Plus six sword. Sorry. Everything's starting to slow down for me now. And it's a D... 10. 10. Plus four. If you're dual, if you're dual wielding, it's D ten yep. plus four. So eight plus four. is twelve. Twelve points. Nice. Number two. Twelve points. Get it. All right. <clears throat> um, Rawin. Um, so is this guy not, can I walk away from him? I don't know. Is he charmed to her? Yeah, he's, or just, yeah you he's can just walk away. Problem is I can't really get to anyone else. What about me who is about to die? Yeah, go get her. What the fuck's he gonna do for you? Pat you on the back? And he's avenge my ass. You can step over me and hit him. But you're not down. I can no, fix will be in a second. Oh, yeah, no, I will be. One hit, I'm gone. So, it, uh, I, I'm assuming this square is open. Yeah. She, yeah, she's essentially like right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm going to move here and attack that guy. Just so like that? Yes. All right. All right, what do we get here? Uh, does a that is sixteen? Does that hit? Ooh, just. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that makes me sad. That's still not great. Six plus it's eleven damage. Dude, the hearts. Alright. Yeah, Fenrith. Alright. Uh, 30 feet towards those two. I'm assuming that gets me behind Amaya and beside Rowan. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and I can see him? Eh, not really, no. He's like around the no. corner of the. Okay. Yeah. I can get somewhere where I can see him then. Damn. Not unless, of course, you want to dash. Well, I couldn't attack if I did, but... Exactly. <laughs> but you can't attack from where you are anyway, right? <laughs> unless I can see him. So I could have gotten here instead. Yeah. He's in there? Uh, sure. Okay. Then... 
uh, throw a hand axe. All right. Pulling it off my waist and 17 to hit. Oh, thank God. Hits. I was really hoping you didn't roll a natural one. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fucking great. I was Hell like, oh my gosh, please no. Please no, please no. Well, I forgot I had two damage to the last hit I did to the guy. So I was technically uh, 19, but oh well. Eight. Double check. Is it only melee attacks or is it strength attacks? Four. I oh, the rage. Melee attack. Melee damage. So yeah, eight damage. Eight. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Uh, it is there. Go. He gonna be like, oh fuck this shit, fuck this shit, fuck this shit. Uh, he is going to swore it out, and he is going to blue attack onto Amaya, and then yep. brown attack onto Rowan. Actually, yeah, no, Rowan's it within range, so he can't disengage. Amaya nine. To hit? Yeah. Miss. He like smacks Ooh. the wall. He's like ah. And then Robin, a sixteen to hit you. That does not make it. I like to think that my new Kelvamore like armor. He hits it and is like, oh. Is my armor class plus one because you're, you're close, Fenrir? <laughs> oh yeah, same yes. here. I'm right about that. I'm just going to um, uh, bonus action disengage. Bye. <laughs> Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Well, did you get it? No, did not get the stuff. There's an asshole over there. Look, thunk. As he fires at D'Artagnan. Uh, seventeen to hit. Uh, uh shield. So no. No, nope. no. My armor class is now a nineteen. You seem like look at his crossbow and inspecting. It, like, did it just misfire something? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Since I have a hand back. I Number six. I mean, they're. They kind of like have a half, half mask over them, like, you know, so you can't really tell too terribly much. They are you know, sneaky and stuff. Uh, this guy's going to go over to Mithria. Dun, dun. All nice and dun, friendly? Dun, 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 dun. Maybe, maybe not. He's charmed, so he's he like Yeah. <laughs> Neil's in front of you. What is I bidding my master? He does the last Hey, his ass up. <laughs> oh my, it's Friday night already? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Take it. <laughs> Mithria. <laughs> it's it's your turn. Who has the bands? D'Artagnan. Uh, D'Artagnan doesn't. Do, do I have no. them? You oh, have them, because D'Artagnan couldn't use them because he couldn't use magic, so, yeah. So the entire time, you could have just bound to someone. Just thunk. Yeah. Warren has them. Yeah, I forgot about those. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mithria, what would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna start, like, asking questions. So, what are you doing here so early in the morning? It's kind of a strange... You know, place for a walk. Spin round, right, right round, spin, right round, spin, right. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're using your turn to talk to him. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to get answers out of him. All Sexy right. tie his ass up. I don't have any rope. Mithra is very vanilla. Rope. She doesn't really do that. We all have rope in our gear. Uh... How do you not have rope? Because I didn't write it down. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. That's 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 a valid reason not to have it. Because <laughs> uh, it was kept on her cart and she doesn't have the cart with her. Yeah, that's it. D'Artagnan, your turn, eh? Sacre bleu. Oh, you right, right. Since I'm not going to waste another spell slot. That's 30 feet right there. Hola, amigo. How do you do? Bonjour. Panting. I like how you guys are all measuring. Like, oh, yeah, no, we're all just trying to figure out our friggin' best bet. So, 
The one that is still glowing from fairy fire. Spin around. Shank. Actually, no. I'm not going to shank him. Green flame blade. Okay. So, that is a... Uh, 18 to Arrest. six. I'm 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 sorry. Real quick, the, the guy yeah. I charmed. Can he talk at all, or is? Or... Yeah, it's just you're trying to talk in combat, which is always gets a little finicky. Yeah, no, it's just it's not yeah. his turn to talk. Okay, well, you just didn't say anything. Like, is he mute? Is he <laughs> unable to speak? No, yeah, it's just in combat, talking like that, like having a conversation, gets a little finicky. First okay. one. Okay. Yeah. No, that's understandable. I was just checking. Right. Okay. Nine points of piercing damage. And I need a dexterity saving throw. A saving throw from Green Fling Blade? Uh, oh, oh, shit. It was just damage. It just... And the other one takes... Uh, three points of fire damage. As the bluish-green fire that was on D'Artagnan's short sword as he stabs the first one. And it just, like, jumps off and smacks <laughs> the other guy in boing, the face. Boing. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah, pretty much. Boing, 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 yeah. boing. All right. That's your go. Um. Bonus action disengage. Okay. <laughs> there. 30, there we go. 30. Never gonna catch me. You wait your time. Oh, fuck, you're right. I can't do that. My turn. All right. So I'm going to look at number uh -huh. two with the freaking like crossbow bolt hanging out of me, flip him off, and cast Guiding Bolt at a second level at him. Oh. Because I'm not I'm happy. Guiding Bolt him right up the butt. Mm -hmm. Classic. And that's an 18 plus my spell mod hit. to hit. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it right is up the five d six. Um, what if I tell you this is all a joke? Uh, this is all a joke. We did not mean anything by it. It's a bad joke. You know, it's a prank for our YouTube channel. Hee 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 hee. Come on now. As we light them up, literally. Come on now. Don't do this. 20, no. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty four, and he is fucking a beacon of light. He is a Christmas 24. tree. Twenty four. Yeah. What guiding bolt is a ridiculous first level spell. Thunk. Uh, and I leveled it up to number two, so I got an extra D six. She went boost, boost, yeah, not happy. boost, boom, get wrecked. All right, Robin. You might want to roll your D one hundred. I did. It's a thirty eight. Okay. I rolled uh, it before. I I knew it was coming, so I rolled it to make sure I, <laughs> it would happen. If not, okay, I'm cursing for my my turn. And you get advantage to hit him. Ooh, lovely. I love advantage. Yeah, no, next person to hit him. Denied. Going to strike him. I'm going to start walking. Ooh, advantage. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to walk, actually, as he's going. That, that is way. a 24. Uh, I'm sorry, you missed. Hit. <laughs> and that is three doughs. Oh. Oh, you got to be kidding me with this. Really? <laughs> Don't you get to reroll ones and twos? Yeah, I only there get the... Uh, does it, is it a number, or can I just do them all until I do them all once? What? Uh, you reroll the one, all ones and twos involved with your great weapon. Yeah, there so, you go. 13 damage. Nope, there's more damage, actually. So, 18 damage. I can't move my character. Oh, 18, I oh, see. Oh, isn't that, that's, uh, why can't you move your character? I don't know. I, like, can't get her to move her. Yeah, I just want to start heading towards, um... I'm sorry. Like, Eight. I want to be, like, here. Uh, so that is, oh my god. Holy shit, you guys are just wrecking, <clears throat> wrecking number two. Thank you. Um... <laughs> I still want to clean light a Is number two... How hurt does he look? Oh, he fucked up. Like, after that, he <laughs> fucked up. Like, he... He don't... He, like, ow. Seriously, it was a prank for my YouTube channel. What the fuck, man? Abuse, abuse. What the hell? 
What does number six look? Uh, the guy that I just fucking smacked. Uh, number one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he looked fucked up, too. They both look fucked up. When you put me next together, you put them in the donkey in the wrong blade. What the <laughs> fuck? Game, so I love you. All right, Fenrith, your turn. All right. There. Yeah. Light saber. Nero, 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 Nero. No. My head's kind How of like tapping out. I've got one. maybe one more round in me. <laughs> D don't worry, they do too, at this rate. <laughs> they do too. Which one looks more bugged out? The, the, uh, about the same. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. And they're both within 20 feet of me? Uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm assuming number two still has my hand axe in his chest or something. Yeah. Or wherever I hit him. I also have the crossbow bolt in me, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bastard. So I'll take my other axe. And axe number one, of course. What's better than one axe in your chest? Two! With a 12 to hit, I miss. Yes. I'm assuming. Fun. Yep. Right. Wait, were you going after number two or number one? Uh, one. Oh, one. Vintage. Yeah. yeah. So that is. Oh, okay. Thank you for advantage. Not 20. No. That <laughs> that misses actually, funnily enough. It's for 12, point, 12 points, twelve points of damage. Car. How much damage? Twelve points of damage with a hand axe. Ooh, nice. nice. Gone. <laughs> so can Ooh. I just flavor the unicorn them with it? <laughs> Message for you, sir. <laughs> he now has a wooden horn sticking out of his forehead. <laughs> this was Aww. definitely one of those that was like, nothing can go wrong. <laughs> it's all going wrong. <laughs> all right, this guy's like. Screwed. Fuck. <laughs> like, he's like. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh. Oh, he's gonna disengage and he's gonna go. At five, uh, you know what? Hold on, where, where is he? There we go. He's right there. So now he is uh, forty. Oh wow, that's quite the distance. Holy heck! No, he's gonna go tell the others. He's gonna tell on us. How did he get so far away? Oh wait, no, yeah, you're right. Shit, no. Bonus. bonus he used the disengage. Yeah, then so it's right there. So the there bonus. we go. So there we go. There we go. Yeah, so he dashed so, twice. What I'm hearing is, I can get right up next to him. You can. Get him. Do you, do you do really want to risk him. running into the middle of the town at night? He's oh, a dumbass. So yeah. Do you think I wouldn't fucking do it? <laughs> I'm, well, who who go? Oh, he goes before I do. Yeah. yeah. Before both kind of you fuckers. These guys are lucky I'm not teleporting. <laughs> <sighs> we have one, and one is dead. Yeah, very true. You know uh, that's Mithria. good enough for me. I just want their magic swords. Mithya, what would you? Uh, what... Are you guys gonna be chasing that one guy? I'm not nah. chasing him. I'm walking to Mithria and handing her my rope from my back. No, thing. just use the iron bands of binding. Okay. No. No. Just no. use fucking a rope. There's well, no, no if he's a rope. Tied up. Yeah. Mithria. Yes. I'm going to like walk over to you and be like, sweetie, ask Here. super sexy and gentle, tie his ass up. If you weren't fucking, like, into BDSM before, get into it. Work that spell. It's just, you come around, you see him doing some Fortnite dances in front of her. <laughs> We're having a conversation. I've been asking him all kinds of questions. I just, what we were told is just get the weapons once the blacksmith makes them, you know? The blacksmith makes them, we get the weapon. Right, I'm, Why? I'm right. Know, like, stealing While stuff is wrong? While you're talking to him... 
Ask Lots him to put his wrist out, darling. <coughs> Can I like, see your wrist? Okay. Got hey, a... you hold out. Oh, and... I've got a friendship bracelet for you. And I tie him up. Thank you. And but I'm like, going to call it a night. Don't you like... <laughs> Stealing is wrong, Rav. He's, he's been making all these things and you can't just take stuff. No, no, no. My master said that we need the weapons, so we come and get the weapons once they're done. Oh, Who's your master? Your master? My master is next time yeah. on Sweet oh. Revenge. We'll find out. Yes, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like button, so you guys can know when I post next week when we find out who the master is. Why he wants these weapons, why he just doesn't make them himself, um, and who these guys are in this weird, weird dino land. Um, but if you guys haven't made it for this far, remember to go and follow the other streamers. There's a few people that stream in the group. Their links are down below. Um, go show them some love, and while you guys are down there, follow me across all social media. My link's down there as well. Uh, I'm a res across it all. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, come to the Discord for shenanigans. But I'll see you guys all later. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy, stay awesome, because you guys are all awesome. Bye-bye.